could come the other night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light I could run through the fire I could come the other night If I can make it if I try to draw the red light Well, come on, switch scenes already. We don't have all day. How's it going, everyone? We got, we got, I was curious if I adjusted my chair, if it would mess up the camera view. How's everyone doing? I was going to come in here with a Santa hat on and then I totally forgot about it. So hopefully this is fine. <laughs> we got so many people in the chat, this is great. We're here in the Congo. We gotta get started because we can't end this, we can't end this live stream until I hit 75 so I, I feel like we we just gotta get going otherwise we could be here until 10 o'clock I don't know I doubt it but it'll be okay uni now perch hunted for 19 game days and level up from 77 to 80 hey good deal that's a good way to do it man that is a good way to do it and we might do some now perch uh, hunting as well or I'll hunt for the biggins the biggins boys um, but until then, we're going to do a little bit of, uh, tiger fishing. Some tiger fishing. As well. Who's all in the chat? Peace Control Sour. CJ's here. How am I? I'm doing quite well. How are you doing, CJ? Local Abrams, Dakota Salmon, Ruben Perez, Gerald Bates, Tanner Merchant, uh, Egyptian Wolf God, Adam Peacock, uh, Pioneer, Gerald Cooper, Salisbury, Ruben's here, Holly, Hollywood, very nice. Adventures with Grayson, B Rex, Travis Scarlet King. Ooh, ooh. Very nice. Very nice. So, uh, yeah. I tell you, it's been a bit since I've caught a uh, an uni of any sort, but we'll uh, we'll keep going. I'm gonna throw out two with uh, eight odds for uh, Goliaths, and then we'll throw out some uh, some four odds for some uh, regular African tigerfish as well. What do we got here? He is just skating up on top. Don't see any stripes at the moment, so I guess he's a Goliath. Little 40 pounder. 49 pounder. Okay, that's a start. That's a start. 
Well, he just... I, I don't mind it when they just skate on any like that. What is going on with our music today? Is it quiet? Seem quiet for anyone? Or is it an okay volume? Alright, let's get these back out here. These are our ADOTs. I threw that one a little short. Oh well. Oh well, hopefully it does well. Dylan, it's summer now. Weather is brilliant. Ooh, well, fantastic, man. It's fantastic to hear. Let's throw on some four outs here. Bait stayed on. That's always nice. So we recently upgraded all of our gear to be this higher-end gear um, for fishing in Africa. So that's nice. We do get... Uh, we unlock this same uh, match rod that we had from the DLC um, in one level at 75. So I'll be able to buy a second one of those... Uh, once we hit 75, but until then, we are just kind of moseying along. Moseying along like this. How do I get up to higher levels? By catching fish, of course! Heinz Heisenberg, hello! Peace control sour, hi. Love fishing, but I booked a flight to Adelaide in business class next year. Ooh, fancy, man. Business class, ooh. Timothy Descato's here, good deal. You quit Fishing Planet and started playing The Hunter. Oh, did you? And how are you enjoying that? Good to hear the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. We gotta have it going. Going to go on my big TV. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? The big TV. That's what. That's where we are now. We've hit the big times. The big TV times. The environment sounds overriding the music. That's what I assumed being close to the waterfall, that it would kind of uh, overwhelm it, especially with the beeping. I assumed that uh, we'd hear more beeping than music. But uh, I can turn it down. As much fun as it is to hear the waterfall and stuff in the background. It's, uh, it's a long time of just that. This guy's like coming straight in, I'm afraid to let go. He's just a little tiger fish too. Just a little boy. He's just a little boy. That's what we always say about Oslo. Every time Oslo does something bad, and you get so upset with him, and you're just like, "Oh my God, Oslo, why?" And then, uh, and then he gets over to you, and he's so sad, and uh, and we just go, "He's just a little boy. <laughs> he's he's the sweetest dog. He's just kind of dumb." Come here, you. I figured this might be a trophy. Oh, it is! 40 pound trophy, 8,000 XP, real quick and easy. I like it, I like it. Every Christmas I thought they made a map that was frozen you could ice fish. That would be a neat little thing, huh? Every Christmas that they get your ice fishing in. They, uh, that would be cool, honestly, to kind of keep with the months. So, you know, like December, January, February or something, we have access to, like, ice fishing maps. And then, and then they go away. Like, that'd be a fun seasonal thing. Um, I think would be a really cool feature. Someday, when I have millions of dollars, <laughs> I'll put out a, uh, we'll, we'll obviously create a fishing game that's the best. Probably not, but we can always dream. <laughs> oh, golly. Uh, add more videos to your free to play because I really enjoy this series. Yes, Cooper. Uh, I think everyone enjoys the series. It just honestly hasn't been a uh, big big factor of mine at the moment. I'm going to change that to... Well, we go like 70 maybe. Been doing other things for the time being. But yeah, every series that I have, I have an intention to go back to. At some point. Even even the Red Dead series. <laughs> Probably when they put out Red Dead 3. I'll be like, alright guys, we're going back to Red Dead 2. Let's go. Um, uh, no. You never have to worry about it. Unless it just performed just awful. Then I probably will. Or if I've completed the game multiple times. Like, uh, Hunting Simulator 2. Uh, sugar with a, a wow, great timing. Well, good deal chasing. That it was <laughs> disturbing. Sugar with a lung infection. What? I read that, Reuben. Congrats. What are you gonna do now? 
Hello from South. South uh, ZA Zambia or what is, what is ZA? Is, uh, hello from South. Hope you catch more fish that than you need. Can you catch a 50 pounder? That'll be fun and hard. I'm sure we will catch a 50 pounder. We've got a 49 pounder. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. Reeling with Rocco. Hi, how's it going? So your type of rods, can you show me your rods? I suppose so. We've got the equator match. We've got the Mokanzi. We get uh, three different Mokanzis, 12 foot tens. Um, three different bottom rods and one match rod at the moment. So we'll we'll keep doing this. Uh, I'm not sure what the days are like here. Let's see. Yeah, we go from uh, this to uh, these days, which I believe are actually pretty good Nile perch days, if I remember that correct. So we might uh, finish up this day eight that we're on right now, fish for Nile perch for two days, and then we'll uh, then we'll go back to some tiger fishing or something like that. Be a good way to go about it. Keep up the good work, thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. Let's see. Uh, you know it's on mobile, right? You know we have videos on mobile, right? I'll just spin that question right around. Like if you literally look up Easy Hub Fishing Planet Mobile, like you can watch those videos. How many hours do you have on Fishing Planet? I don't know. That's a good question. I think probably less than you would think. Although I do play it like almost four hours a week just from live stream, so. So that adds up, I suppose. That's like 200 hours a year. And we've been playing for like three years or so. So, I'm sure that would add up at some point. Catch all the species. Catch them all. I gotta catch them all. You're gonna go into Pokemon mode, hey? Okay, I gotcha. Are you levels? How long have you been playing this game? Meant to say, are you level 75? Well, since the point of this live stream is to hit level 75, um, no, I'm not level 75. Um, we are going to try and get to 75 this live stream. Just subscribe, really like your videos. Bassin with Hunter Bill, thank you. Appreciate it. Bassin with Hunter Bill. How are you, Greg says. I'm doing quite well, thanks for asking. Daniel asked that as well. Well, good deal. Answered the same, answered two people's questions at once. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at a slump right now. Get back up here. We're gonna change the time, hopefully. Fishing planet can be a little bit faster here. All right, we're gonna catch as many fish as we can right here and then move spots to somewhere else, I think. Mix it up. Mix it up. That match rod out there. Dang. Been playing for like three months, have 60 hours still, only level 30. I think you're doing fine, Greg. Think you're doing real good. About to hit level 27, Carson says. Fantastic. That's awesome. You got to level 12 this yesterday? This yesterday. Very nice. Robo. Goofball says. What's up, goofball? That's what my dad used to call me growing up. Look at these goofballs, he used to say to me and my brother. You said there were kids in here, but all I see are goofballs. I'm just giving you examples of what I can remember. Why'd you run into the door frame, goofball? <laughs> What's your favorite fish to catch? When real life or in the game? With the major popper. Ooh, very nice. Well, we can certainly throw the major popper while we're waiting for a bite. I don't mind. Goofball's back. Good. What's up, Hendry? Haven't seen you in a while. Good night, fish for any perch and tiger fish as well. Had a loads of success tonight. The way you don't have to spend eight coins for cooldowns. Yeah, there you go. On how I can catch bigger fish, don't spend all my money on the game. Yeah. I mean, if you just follow along with the uh, beginner series, series two, I'm sure you'll find some good stuff. Favorite fish to catch in the game? Usually tarpon. 
Though sometimes I'll have episodes where I just, for some reason, have like tarpon repellent on or something like that. They're an absolute pain to deal with. Um, but, but no, usually tarpon are my favorite. Just because you can fish for them with top wider, uh, top wider, top water lures. If I would catch more tiger fish on top water lures, I'd be all about it. But it always seems like I get like one every like six to eight casts. I, and everyone tells me they're like, I do really well using top water lures on, you know, unique so and so. And I'm like, that's sweet. Because every time I try it, I don't do good at all. And we just lost connection. Fantastic. Fishing planet, I'm telling you. Killing me inside. What time do we live stream? Every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. I'm level 9. Well, you're, you're 9 levels closer to being a higher level, I guess, right? You're 9 levels higher than when you started. I'll just keep saying things that mildly sound impressive. What? That's like 9 times as much as the level 1 player. My goodness. Level 9? Someone at Lone Star Lake. That's pretty impressive. What's up, boss? What's up, Grizzly? I'm playing Fishing Planet, or at least trying to. At the moment, I'm just enjoying the loading screen. Topper and Popper does okay, but not gonna, not great. Gonna try Walkers and see, but I doubt it's any better. Yeah, I doubt it's better either. All right, let's get into it. Playing Fishing Planet on mobile for past two weeks, top notch. Other players on stream who are getting bad connection issues, you're not alone. Oh, okay. Good deal. Good, good deal. At least we're all suffering. That's always my main concern. Whenever bad things are happening to me, I always go, Yeah, but are they happening to other people too? God, I wish we would all suffer. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think I've ever thought that. You ever think of going to the UK again? I literally just told my wife the other day. I was like, how did we miss the British Museum when we were in London? So, um... Uh, so we have to go back to London to see the British Museum. We totally just skipped over it. I'm a museum guy. I know some people probably are like, Museums? Ew. Gross. But not me. I really like museums. And my wife hates it sometimes. She likes museums too, but she's more of like the uh, walk through and go, Ah! Ooh! Interesting. And then just continue walking. But I like to like stop at everything and read everything about it. So, so, I can imagine why I would be annoying to go to a museum. But. Trying to get some salmon at Knik. It's not good. It's not going too good, to be honest. You know, I haven't been there in such a long time. The last time I was there, I didn't do very well either. But there was a time where I was pretty good at Knik Creek. I honestly think the game's gotten harder since then. I feel like they've made things, like, harder to do. I don't know why. Seems like plenty of people have a hard enough time playing Fishing Planet. They don't really need to make it harder. Uh, I hate lagging. Hate the game when it lags, like glitches out every time the game freezes just for a great second. All of a sudden your game just goes back to normal. Yeah, sounds like a, a connection issue, I would think. But, but I mean, I just had that issue there. And I know it's not my internet, so... Darn fishing planet. Been playing some Way of the Hunter and SnowRunner too, huh? How am I? How am I? I'm doing quite well, thanks for asking. Is that something anyone would want to watch during... I don't really like truck games, but if people want to watch it, if they're willing to watch it over the uh, January gaming month, then I'm, I'd, I'd, I'd try it. Some SnowRunner or something like that. It's probably old. Do people even watch those games still? Of course, that, people could say that about The Hunter Call of the Wild. That came out in, like, 2017, but people still watch it. So, maybe they, just, maybe they do. I don't know. I just don't know anything about it. Would it be fun to watch a guy who's never played it play it? I'm, I'm sure it would be annoying. Ah, shush, shush up, Gerald Bates. As if it just started two weeks ago. Yeah, the war just started two weeks ago. 
No. I've just been having connection issues the last few weeks, if not within the past month. So, I don't think... It's not like a... Like it's lasted a long time. What do you think about Fishing Sim World 2 or thinking about buying it based on your opinion? I, you can go back and watch the videos of us playing it. It's not anything special. Brandon Jones. It's uh, it's as much a fishing game as like Hunting Simulator 2 is a hunting game. Like it goes back to the back in the day when like a hunting game was just like, here's a rifle, here's a shotgun, here's a bow, there's deer out in them woods. You go get them. And then you go and shoot them, and, and then that's like the game. Fishing, uh, World Fishing Simulator, or whatever it is. World Tour. Very similar. There's like not. I don't know. It just feels like a cheap thrill. And the bass one feels exactly that as well. I was excited to try the game out when the uh, devs came with, to me with it, but once I like played it for a little bit, I obviously couldn't say anything horrible about it. Game's lost connection again, guys. It's not gonna be a good night. God, I, I just sat there with the rod in my hand for freaking <laughs> 10 seconds while the fish just took line out. I couldn't do anything at all. Alright, alright, alright. Grab the rod, he nail. 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 Oh my god, this dude is freaking stupid. Snowrunner's a fun game, but you wouldn't enjoy it. Okay, I'll take your word for it. What's your favorite fish in the UK to catch? And I really enjoyed the pike, honestly. I think it's just because I didn't, I don't, like, I've never been able to fish for pike before. But between the pike and the perch, like, that was a blast. Anytime I just saw some, like, general cover in a creek or in a canal or something like that, um, I could cast out towards it and there would be either a pike or a perch there. It was pretty amazing. I'm not sure if it's just because a lot of people in Leicester just don't fish or something, but... Man, I had a great time. So much epic fishing here. I, I guess I, I, my wife and I were supposed to go to Australia for our honeymoon, but um, the uh, first the uh, big fire was in Australia, and so much of the country like got burned, and then um, and then like the Great Barrier Reef like was all cloudy because of all the ash that was in it. So we kind of canceled our planes to go to Australia. And then COVID really took off. So then it was like, well, now we can't really go anywhere because of COVID. Um, so, so, yeah, our plans were put on hold. We, we still want to go to Australia, for sure. Catch a giant barramundi? I agree, man. That'd be cool. I agree. Yeah, I remember the you talking about Rottenest Island. Brilliant beaches as well. Get that level 75. Thanks, Jim K. That's what we're trying, man. And it's still struggling with connection up in the top left. It says anyway. Interesting. Interesting. Fish cards? We can certainly do some fish cards, but people were saying that we should... Uh, we should also toss some uh, some poppers and stuff. Everyone always talks about doing well on poppers. Well, here we go. We'll toss some poppers, boys and girls. Lots of updates. It's on season eight now. Ooh. Is this where I should cast with the popper? Is this where I'm gonna catch the big boys? Gotta figure out my two, uh, two star pop. Got it at the end there. Guess who's back? Back again. Biosyn's back. Tell a friend. The grocery store has a new kind of fish called perch pike. 
perch pike. Never heard of a perch pike. I've heard of a pike perch. This is uh, Xander, the nickname for Xander, usually, from where I've heard it anyway. Fishing Planet hates the Christmas music. <laughs> I uh, I even turned it down and it really didn't seem to like change it all that much. We'll change it to 50 and see if that helps. Yeah, I can barely hear it now. We'll try that. I think we're, um... There we go. I think we're gonna put that on hold for a little bit. The, the bite has kind of slowed down to nothing. Let's move over here and see if we can catch any, uh... Some big old Congo bass. Sorta. Ha ha ha. Good to see you again, my friend. Hope all is well. Joey, how's it going, man? Oh, you're gonna give me a, a list. <laughs> Good deal. Alright, let's throw out some rods. Let's throw out some rods, everybody. We're gonna throw out... What are we thinking? I'm thinking like a 12 dot someone feel free to give me give me uh, an idea if you've got one throw that out with a 12 aught let's throw out for, for good measure we're gonna throw out a uh, large minnow 12 aught on a match rod just for funsies and then we'll also fish something else at the same time see what we can get into here what do we get what do we get? Six shot ribbed shad, I guess. We could do. Where are ya? Where are ya? Carolina rig. Carolina rig or a three way rig. We'll do Carolina. Um, one and a half. Big old offset with a ribbed shad. With a ribbed shad. There we go. We're good now. All right, let's throw these bad boys out here. Throw these bad boys out here. Got to go. See you later, Henry. Glad you stopped by, man. How your Christmas belt? Not too bad. Thanks for asking. Well, I'll definitely have to check those places out, CJ. Thank you. More and more, yeah. What's your favorite lure for tarpon? Oh man, uh, it's hard because I like I like the uh, the poppers. At the same time, I like um. You're kind of weird there. Um, at the same time, I do like um. Buzz baits too. I think buzz baits are really fun to use for. Uh, I like. I think buzz baits are just kind of fun overall. Just so you don't have to do much with them. Don't have to do much with them. It's just kind of nice. Just being able to relax and just fish. Which Sunday Islands? Finished all the mastery missions. Very nice. Ooh, are we hooked up? I can't even tell. The freaking lure thing just was just sitting there. Currently eating soup, waiting for a fish. All right, could be worse things in life, eh? It's hooked up on the 12 op, but he doesn't look too big. Hooked up on the 12 op, but he doesn't look too big. Get in here, boy. Yeah, look how small he is. He's only 155 pounds. Ew. Gross. God, don't you hate it when all you can manage is a 155 pound fish? Yuck. When are you coming back to the UK, man? I don't know. It'd be quite a while. It'd be quite a while. Just have to see. I think, uh... Based on what my wife says, the next trip is to Taiwan. So if we have any friends from Taiwan, you'll have to let me know. Oh, there's another bite. 
Another bite. Sat for three in real life hours before I peak with proper gear and getting not even a nibble. I agree, man. I think the bite has gotten weird here. I remember when it first came out. Oh boy, we got one on the match rod too. I remember when it first came out and we were just catching uniques left and right and having a grand old time. Now it seems like it's just kind of luck that you even get one. I'm trying to see which one's bigger. I think they're both pretty similar in size. You get Attaboy Ward. Oh, thank you, Jim K. <laughs> oh no, we've got three fish on. Ion Brew. Oh. Get anything to bite in the kind of. I'll say more in this score about that I'm not spamming the chat with stuff. Sounds, sounds good, man. Oh, this one's real close. We haven't even picked up the bottom rod yet. This one's actually in an area where we can actually go. Oh, no. Connection. Connect, fishing planet. Connect. We're going to lose one of our fish. Come on, fishing planet. Oh my god, it's like every time, every time we pick up a rod. Are you joking me? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, fishing planet. I'm literally holding a rod in my hand, but I can't set the hook because fishing planet won't let me. I can't even tell if that fish is even on that rod still because there's no line attached to it. Oh my god, what is going on? Fishing Planet, you're dying. He's dying, everybody. Fishing Planet's dying. Oh, at least the second rod still has a line on it. This one just doesn't have a line at all. I can't even tell what's going on with it. I assume the fish is gone. Because it's not moving or anything. It's glitched out. No, I thought it was working perfectly. What are you doing here? It doesn't even think that there's a rod in the holder. What? What is going on? <laughs> I'm hitting my second rod, but it's not even... It's not even... <laughs> what is going on? Uh, my, my, my second rod is just completely gone. It's obviously here in this rod holder, but to Fishing Planet, it, it is gone. I don't have it anymore. If I hit the two button where this rod is, it just brings up my match rod. So, I don't know. To, I don't know. That's what I got for number two. <laughs> yeah, dang. Adam P. Guys, gotta go. See you later. You've been playing a lot of CSGO lately. That's one game I've never played. It never really looked that interesting to me. Kind of like a... Kind of like Call of Duty, but not as good or like, I don't know. Maybe that's the reason people like it. It's not... It's not plagued with a new game every year or something like that. We got two rods in that holder now. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, we can't throw lures anymore. We're just going to have to go with our match rod and bottom rod. Best of luck. Thank you, Lou. Enjoy. I've caught everything. Five pounds sheep at 90 pound sharks there. Ooh. Yeah, that would be pretty cool, man. Why, Fishing Planet? Why? I agree. I don't know. I don't know. All right, really the only one we got to keep our eye on is that uh, match rod there, because we'll hear... I was going to say, we'll hear the jingle of this rod when we have a bite, and there it is. That seems like a pretty decent-sized fish, just from when he jumped up there. All right, I'm not picking my nose. It's just itchy. God. I already see it. Everyone see the, the, the tabloids. Did that on me last night. I was so mad. I was so mad. Yeah, it seems like a decent sized fish. 
We got a decent sized fish on everybody. It did that to me last night. I was so mad. What level are you right now, Bo? We're 74. Hey, Jax BB, how are you? Yes, do CSGO in Gaming Month? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> no, my my main game that I'd like to uh, do more, and I'd probably, I'll spend like a whole weekend just doing as many episodes as I can, because people seem to really like it, was uh, VR Fishing. Everyone really liked the VR Fishing game, so I figured this next year we'll do more of that. I know that you can catch like sharks and stuff in that game too. Um, so I figured we'd do some more of that. And I know that there's some sharks and stuff that we haven't caught in um, Fishing Simulator 2. Is that the name? Ah, oh, guys, a pretty. Uh, who wants to say? Unicorn? No, no unicorn? I, I did not, T Smart. Pick a place, should I fish at Blue Crab or Congo because I'm bored? Well, you you beat the game. That's 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 what happens when you uh, get to the end of the game. Go, uh, go play a different game. Go try a different game. <laughs> You're falling asleep, Gerald Bates says. All right. Hey, well, take care, uh, Gerald. You shoveled a grain bin today. Oh, man. Sounds good, bro. Well, you got a good, uh, got some good exercise in. He doesn't seem as big now that we're closer to him. What do you think? Is he an uni or just like a trophy? Could just be a normal. Here, we'll find out soon. Ah! Oh, just a trophy. Well, it's still a fun fish. It's still a nice sized fish. Oh, we have a fish on it, looks like. Oh, no, I don't think so. 37,000, 19,000 XP. You don't have a fish on, do you? No. You don't have a fish on, you stinking rod. We uh, went over the 951 pound keep net, though. So we'll have to change the time, I guess. Should we continue fishing at night and see what we can catch? Did it reset my rod? It did not reset my rod. Guys, I feel bad. I feel like we're gonna have to uh, quit the game and get back in just so we can get our rod back. We're not gonna get our rod back, dang fishing planet. Here we go. Well, zoom in on me. You all wanted to see my face, that's for sure. While that figures itself out, here we go. Get you guys all caught up on uh, some Kansas fish, I guess. Let's see, what do we got here? Keep people on their toes. Keep people on their toes. Hmm. Oh, there's some good ones in here. There are some good ones in here. Uh, let's go with this one. Hmm? Hmm? All right. Who's ready? Who's ready? Oh, what's that? Anyone. Anyone. Yeah, I was hoping I had a unique as well. What do we got there? Huh? Oh, lots of different answers there. Yeah, flathead catfish is different to uh, CJ than it is to us. What's it? We got two different flathead catfish to work with. A unique channel. Uh, even CJ, our resident Australian, got channel catfish, everyone. Good deal. One of my favorite fish to fish for in Kansas. They're fun fish. All right, back to the game. Fishing planet. Go. Yeah. There we go. Now we're killing it. Look at everyone crowded around like this is some sort of boat parade. God, get a life, everybody. We got fish to catch. 
Oh, you think so, PBR? Uh, it's possible. Quite possible. Probably wouldn't have taken as long, but then you wouldn't have been able to guess if it was a channel cat or not, so. It's not good. We're about 15 minutes away from the halfway point, and we are not even halfway to 75, so this could be a long one. This could be a long one. It always sounds nice, and people will say, you know, oh, what? Why don't you make the stream longer? It'll be fun and stuff. But like right around 930, it seems like a lot of people's bedtimes start to arrive and it cuts down to like 20 people and the chat's moving super slow. That's always what seems to happen. So it sounds good in theory, but really it's just like me chatting with like one or two people <laughs> until I finish something. Those that remember the 4th of July uh, holiday stuff can attest to all that. Do an Alaskan fish next. I don't have any Alaskan fish, T-Smart. Sorry about that. I live in Kansas, so I only have Kansas cards. But if anyone lives in Alaska and has these uh, fun little cards here, um, feel free to send them to me. I'd love to have uh, other states' cards. It's a fun little... Uh, Fun little deal being able to test people on their fish knowledge. Yeah, I feel like uh, identification with fish is really important. Really important. Oh, because of the spots on the channel catfish. Well, uh, a couple different things. It's it's gold. It's got a rounded anal fin. Um, yeah, it has some spots on it. The the flathead has more like splotches than spots. It's always kind of interesting. God, are you joking me? What more could I do? It was clearly hooked up, Fishing Planet. God. It was like 30 feet away from the boat. Guys, if it continues to be a nuisance like this, I feel like we're going to have to switch fishing games. I know the goal was to hit 75 tonight, but Fishing Planet's doing everything it can to make sure I don't. That's the second fish we've lost just because of connection issues. And if we can't juggle fish because of connection issues either, then that's going to be a problem. God, fishing planet. Well, thank you, Iron Aviator. I agree. I would love to get to uh, 75 as well. We've got two fish on, but we can't do anything about it. Thanks, Tackle Box. Nope, I already answered that, T-Smart. Come on, man. We're having fun. Everyone's having fun. How do you get a lot of bait coins? By doing missions and achievements and stuff like that. Well, we had two fish on. That's true. That's our. That's four fish that we've lost due to connection issues. Yep, that's it's. It is a really easy way to shorten your game, Ryan Cody. And it's sad because this is like best fishing game that's out there. Like Russian fishing is kind of fun too, but it's really slow. And, uh, and there's no way to just buy yourself straight to the top without spending a ton of money. So, I have a feeling that once you're, uh, once you get to a point in the game where you feel like you've done everything, you're gonna get really bored and stop playing the game, which stinks, because it's a really fun game. Which is always why I recommend people don't buy DLCs. You have to think from a business perspective. I buy DLCs to create videos for people to show, you know, different fish and stuff like that. If you're playing the game, there's no reason for you to buy DLCs. You're not making, you're not making videos. You don't have a t ton of people saying, "When are you going back to the Congo? When are you doing this? When are you doing that?" So there's no pressure for you to come here or spend thirty dollars to do something. just the life. 
Just the life. Not, a, not It's not the worst thing in the world. You ever watch when you can Bassmasters or Elite Fishing? I don't have cable television, so I don't usually... I'm not usually able to watch that. My uh, When I go to my wife's parents' house, he'll usually have fishing fishing shows on, and I'll get to see some of that sometimes. Um, but usually, no, I don't see a lot of it. Don't keep up with it. He'll start creating Australian fish cards? Oh, good deal. Thank you. Here is a glitch in slow connection. Yeah, right? <laughs> Need tips for bass fishing this time of year. Winter bite tends to be real slow for me. Yeah, and, and I feel like that's just going to kind of be the case. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, my mind would tell me to use, you know, baits that uh, allow the fish to get closer. Um, the water is going to be super clear. Um, so you would think natural colors would be the way to go, but maybe not. Maybe they like seeing something flashy, um, you know, something chartreuse or something that grabs their attention. Well, just you just have to try some stuff out and see, see how they do. I mean, I use super bright green and super bright uh, orange lures. I think that's what the colors they were uh, for pike in Europe, and um, and and the water was super clear there. And, uh, and they went bonkers for it, so. And pink lures. I mean, the water was super clear. Why? What, what in your mind would go, oh, pink. That reminds me of something that I eat every day. But they went, they went crazy for it, so who knows? No fish keeper, but not having the correct line, which is plenty to learn in this game. Yeah, there is. Yep, it's very true, Lou game eight pound Atlantic salmon also we need the Christmas update yeah and I uh, and I always get on fishing plants back about that because they never seem to do holiday things until it's like the week before it ends so it's like uh, when's this Halloween thing coming on it's October we're excited to do some Halloweeny stuff and then it finally gets to uh, the Halloween season uh, thing and it's like a week before Halloween and then Halloween's over and done with, and the and the seasonal thing still lasts another two weeks or something like that. And it's like, but Halloween's over. By the time this thing's over, it'll almost be ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, they're kind of screwy on uh, holidays like that. Neat tackle box. It's a clever way to uh, to throw into a, a stream full of people that you have a YouTube channel and you want them to check it out. I understand. I understand. Go to the BZ Hub and do your advertising there. I get it. I get it. Just a big old. I'm just a big old telephone pole. You need to staple your stuff onto me. I see how it is. I see. Do you have polarized glasses in fishing plant? No. Nope, don't use that stuff. You use pink spinners for rainbow trout? Ooh. Does it work well? They like that. See, the thing is, is that they go for, uh, what is it called? The skein? The fish eggs. And they'll go for, I mean, the little baggies, little netting that they use for that is like pink and orange and purple and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not like they don't go for that stuff why they go for it i'm not really sure it seems like all eggs are like yellow and orange but why they would go for pink eggs maybe i'm missing something maybe there's natural like naturally occurring pink eggs out there see you later reuben three tornado warnings today so you played fishing planet in the basement <laughs> well that's that's certainly something to do we have a tornado, so we're going to play Fishing Planet. Well, let's see if we can hook up on a fish this time.
Biggest fish now I should away in fishing planet. It's a it's a Nile perch. It's, it was like 430 some pounds. I think the uh, the they actually uh, the bully shark or whatever from uh, the Congo is actually bigger. I'm not sure how much bigger, but but yeah. What fish have you caught the most in fishing planet? Good question. I'm not really sure to be honest. You would think maybe like uh, probably pike. And I fish for pike a lot. And uh, it's still one of my favorite fish to fish for, to be quite honest. It's just a fun fish, man. There's not much to it. You just throw out your match rods, and before you know it, you got a pike on. And before you know it, you got a second pike on, and a third pike. And, you know, they just keep on coming. Pike are fun, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. To totally, totally, bro. Totally. <laughs> Do you like the Kansas City Chiefs? I mean, I don't mind the Kansas City Chiefs. They've never done anything bad to me. Um, seem like decent folk. You like Kansas City Chiefs? With their ads, I know. They don't even realize it. Don't even realize it. They're like coming into the live stream just going, Listen, guys. I, I don't even mean like when I mention like, you know, the fact that I really like Mountain Dew and I think everyone should try it. I'm not saying that like... I'm advertising for Mountain Dew. I'm just saying that it's the best soda I've ever had and I think they should go out and buy some. I, I'm not even saying they should go out and buy some. I'm just saying, like, it's the best one out there. And I don't know why you're even wasting your time with other sodas out there. I'm not advertising. I'm just, I'm just stating a fact. It's the best one out there. And they should really take advantage of the sales that are going on right now for Mountain Dew. You're a Coke kind of guy. <laughs> you have a sister who lives in KC. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> I don't think that counts, Isa. I don't think that counts for that sort of thing. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'll have to look up the manual. You're a Coke kind of guy, though. I, I, I've never been a big fan of Coke. I love their commercials. Uh, the polar bears, Santa, that sort of thing. But man, I just cannot get into their drinks. They're so sugary and sweet. I can't, I can't do it, man. Thank you, Shehan. Shehan? Love the content, though. Love it. Love to hear it. Come on. Come on, fish. It's not even that big, bro. Come over here. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. There we go. Mountain Dew has more sugar per can than Coke does? Yeah, I wasn't actually. I hate Mountain Dew. My brother loves Mountain Dew. I don't. Um, I was just using that because it's the first soda that came to mind. I pretty much exclusively... No, that's a lie. Actually, I like a few different sodas. I'm kind of weird, though. I don't like the taste of regular sodas. I don't know what the deal is. But regular sodas, Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, um, Sprite even, uh, Coke... All those, like, Mountain Dew, like, I don't like the taste of them. I don't know what it is. I just prefer the diet taste. It Something about it being diet, I guess maybe it's a different sugar that they use or a different type of, like, syrup or something like that. Um, but I just prefer the taste of diet drinks to regular drinks. Um, I don't know why. Just my body, my, my taste buds just like the taste of diet more than regular drinks um but i like i like diet pepsi um diet dr pepper i've been drinking um diet root beer lately and uh i like orange orange sodas as well my brother hates orange so sodas but i like orange sodas you should collab with cavish and car i hope you know it, it's like uh, it's like impossible to get a hold of that guy um but i would i would definitely do it uh, I like that guy. He seems like a cool dude. I was going to invite him to uh, fish in a carp tournament with me. 
um, just on a whim. Thought it could be a fun thing for him to make a video over and for me to do a video on. I'm kind of glad he didn't come though, because we just sat there for two uh, for two days and didn't catch anything. My dad and I. But it ended up being fun fishing with my dad for two days, so I didn't really mind. But uh, yeah, I tried everything I could to get a hold of that catfish and carp guy, and I didn't have any luck. There's like no easy way to get a hold of him. And he does that specifically because he has millions of people that probably try to get a hold of him. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tackbox. Root beer and cream soda. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. All right, here we go. We've had something nudge this thing the last two times we've thrown it. Let's see, maybe the third time's the charm. Yesterday, very nice. Minimum drag you should use the air pima? That's a great question. I don't really know. In something in the 70s, maybe? Who knows? And and it uh, drag's really not... It all changes, too, based off of how much line your uh, reel can retrieve. And also, if you're on a boat or not. Something just hit it. So there's different factors that can kind of change... You know how you uh, how much drag you really need to catch fish, but like sizzle in your mouth and it hurt and I hate it. <laughs> sizzle in your mouth, you hurt and you hate it. Oh man, we had something on the match rod. I didn't even know. Why didn't anyone tell me, huh? Yeah, I thought you guys had my back. <sighs> Turns out you had my back and you were just snickering at me the whole time. Try that again. Usually I'm able to uh, catch it moving somewhere, but not this time, evidently. Soda stream. I. Uh, <laughs> oh. Sorry, it was really funny the way I was reading that, Matthew. But yeah, I remember you talking about your uh, your buddy who uh, died in the crash. It's horrible, man. At least have a good funeral. Did you recall some uh, some some good memories and stuff like that? I'm sure uh, all of your uh, friends from the, uh, the the team were there. The same size as a credit card. Oh, very nice. These ones aren't even the same size as a credit card, but I mean, no, that'll work, man. These ones look about the same size as a uh, note card. A little shorter, maybe. Ryan Cody's got a cram for midterns, so gotta go. Hey, take care. There is another CJ going on. Yeah, we can't even tell if he's talking to me as his brother or the other brother CJ. Now the bite for uh, these now perch has just shut off. It's actually not super bad right now. We'll give it a few more casts and then we'll change the time to evening. We maxed out our keep net um, the last time, so we might change it to nighttime. And if we can catch some at night, then we might as well just keep doing that. Oh, man. Yeah, I could imagine so, Matthew. Sounds pretty rough. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, Kilo. How are you? All righty, let's reel these puppies in. A 20 pound carp in real life. Very nice. Where'd you get that guy? Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna change the time to... I'm thinking nighttime, honestly. Let's try it. Throw one bottom rod out. We'll see if bottom rods are the way to go, or if it's, uh... Match rods, or... We'll, uh, we'll throw on the, uh, glow-in-the-dark shiner, I believe, as well. I think I have a big one of those.
three and a half by 2.4 inches. Got home from looking at Christmas shopping, found nothing good. Oh no. Nothing good out of everything they had. Did you, uh, did you tell the shop owners that too? I have you know, I found nothing good here for Christmas. Good day to you, sir. And then just stormed out. Is that what you did? First fish on. First fish on. That's right. That's right. At a lake near your house, even better, so you'll be able to go after them again. First time in stream, do you fly fish and do you go after trout often? Uh, I do fly fish. I enjoy fly fishing. Uh, I would usually just go after a uh, little, um, little sunfish and in, in, uh, in the sort some some sort of uh, some bass as well, uh, but not very often. Uh, usually it was to catch sunfish to throw out for uh, for catfish and gar and stuff like that. Um, we don't really have trout in Kansas except for uh, cold times of the year when they stock them in the lakes. So I don't really have many opportunities to go after trout here, but. I have a video where we fish for uh, trout up in Utah, and we're going to be moving to Milwaukee here soon, so hopefully have some, some more opportunities to go after some trout. Should be pretty fun. What's the biggest fish you've ever caught in real life? Oh, I've got, I got a thing for that. Tackle box outdoors. Once I get this fish in, I'll have to hit it. We've got another fish on the match rod as well. Oh, golly. Oh golly, dare we switch rods or do we just keep on? We haven't really had a uh, jinx. I'll have to hit something, knock on wood somewhere. Oh, we didn't. We, okay, that one's gone anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. I was going to say, uh, haven't had any connection issues so far. A little young guy. Little young guy. Boy, you weren't going to be able to switch to this rod anyway, you stupid alien. Two days till winter break for you. Very nice. Hope you're catching some river monsters. Oh, we're certainly trying anyway. We are certainly trying, man. But you bit your tongue. <laughs> What's up, Bernie? How's it going, man? Helps me. Are leaders a must for lures? Uh, not for lures, I don't believe. No. Trap him in my aquarium inside my house. Oh, really? You must have a really good, uh, a really big aquarium. Hunting Sim 2 is such a letdown. Yeah. I usually don't recommend it to people. Show what type of fish are in the Congo? We can, very quickly. Very quickly, I'll show. Here, I'll do this first, since uh, Tackle Box was talking about my my biggest fish I've caught. And then I'll rearrange my boat real quick. Now I'll show you. I'll show you by George. Where are you? There we go. We got African Big Eye, African Pike, African Sharp Tooth Catfish, African Tigerfish, Bandon Tilapia. Uh, bulldog fish, Congo yellowfish. Seems like a really cool fish, to be quite honest. I'd love to catch one. Cornish jack is also kind of a cool looking fish. Elephant fish, yeah, that one too. That's interesting. Um, giraffe catfish. Uh, is that where his eye is? That's so interesting. Goliath tigerfish, of course. Comba catfish. Uh, Nile perch, aka the Congo bass. Uh, Nile tilapia. Purple labio. Uh, red nose labio and the voodoo catfish. So definitely some river monsters there. We'll have uh, future episodes of, which is why it's so important that we hit level 75. Let's throw some more bait out. Allison Clark's a big fan. Well, right on. Appreciate it. JB Fishing, how's it going? No space to move. Oh no. Better have space to move. Otherwise, that, that carp's gonna make space to move. <laughs> carp don't mess around, man. <laughs> you put a carp in a 50-gallon aquarium, he's he uh, he has a pretty good chance of just breaking that aquarium. 
Got your first fly rod today. Very cool. Second uni today, 385. Very nice. Diamond and Call of the Wild. Very cool. Can't even reel it in because we got a fish on already. What's your first diamond there? Good luck. Thank you, Bernie. Appreciate it. We're uh, pedaled up close to this buoy here. This reminds me of when we were fishing for uh, alligator gar. We were um, basically fishing right off. Um, oh, what what are those darn things called? Off the dam where it releases water down spillway, and uh, they had these big buoys and uh, pillars out where you couldn't pass anymore. You couldn't pass with your boat to uh, get into shallow water and the spillway and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, so yeah, we're just like sitting there basically and casting into that area. That's where we were catching all those gar on the first day. I haven't put that video out yet. Still need still need to work on that puppy. Do you fly fish or carp? I've attempted to at times. Um, I just haven't had any luck. <laughs> haven't had any luck. Italian, how's it going? A whitetail, very cool. Getting a snowstorm in Wisconsin, eh? Ooh, my goodness. Oh, sounds good, CJ. Love watching the stream and fishing with you. Good deal, Jason B. Well, I'm glad. Really hope we don't get another fish on while I'm fighting this thing. He is taking us out to 200 feet now. See, it might be a pretty decent fish. Who knows? Who knows? Remember me, but I love your video and have a good night. Well, Ian Walker, well, thank you. Appreciate it. You have a good night as well. Already have a foot of snow. My goodness gracious. Good night. You are going to have a magical Christmas. I tell you what. There's, uh, there's many things that uh, all together create... You know, a magical Christmas, and uh, and snow is one of them. So, so yeah, there you go. You're already one out of one out of three down, I believe. Don't ask me what the other two. Are. Maku Maku, good for XP. I don't know. I don't necessarily remember it as a, a, a great place for XP, but who knows? When are you gonna go going to do some more Christmas fish? Probably once the Christmas season starts, I guess. Ain't got none. Ain't got none. Two and a half feet of snow where we live. Ooh. Had a white Christmas in two years, really? You want to release him, but I don't know where because just today someone released a freaking like now all the fish are dying. I don't want this carp. Hey, okay, if, if your carp is 20 pounds, he's not going to die from a snakehead. A regular 171 pound Nile perch. Ew, I hate it. Why do I have to get these these small fish? Wasting our time. 171 pounds gross. Yo, what rod that is. What rod that is. Uh, we are using a Makanzi and an Equator match. Match rod and the bottom rod at the moment. Favorite fishing location in the game? Oh, hard to say. I I don't really like any of them as a favorite. I, I will say at times my favorites are Weeping Willows and uh, Blue Crab. But that doesn't last for very long. I get bored of both of them pretty quickly. Really? 
Well, why didn't you just... I have a feeling you did not catch a 20-pound fish. Do you... I, I guess it depends on where you are, but... You know how big a 20-pound carp is? Like, three feet long. Or longer. Favorite fishing location in the game? Yeah, I answered that. Have a good session, mate. High fives from Western Australia. Oh, thank you, old mate. Appreciate it. It's my friend. Hi, friend. How's it going, fake outdoorsman? Currently listening to stream while studying for finals. Well, we have gotten three and a half feet before. Okay. Daniel's uh, gonna go pretty tired tonight. Take care, man. Oh, yeah, Sea North. I'm looking forward to it. I keep telling the fake outdoorsman and other guys here. I'm like, I can't wait to go. I've seen videos of guys catching some pretty big fish. Pretty big carp in Wisconsin, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to my first outing and catching a 30-pound carp or something like that and sending it to all of them. Like, ah, no big deal. No big deal here, man. We're catching big fish up here. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see. Doing well. Thanks for asking. Oh, good. Good to hear. Is it going to be cold this uh, Friday? Otherwise, I might just stay working at work. Working at work. I've got two weeks to finish my cookbook. It's taking quite a while. I have a feeling I'm not going to get it done in time. The only way I'm going to get it done in time is if I keep working on it. Winnebago? Lake Winnebago? I'm staying home. Sounds good. Well, I'm all about that, too. What are your thoughts on Red Dead 2? Uh, I mean, it seemed like a well-crafted game. I was just kind of getting bored playing it. But, of course, I was also making videos for it. So if, you, if you're not making videos, you can just keep playing it and not get bored. Every time I was playing, I was thinking, okay... Is this too long for a video, or is that enough? I don't know. Maybe if I do one more mission, that'll be enough for a video. And then, that would be, and yeah, that's, that's how it would go. Better get a snowmobile in Wisconsin. I, I'm not sure how many people in Milwaukee use snowmobiles. Guess we'll have to wait and see. So mean to me in school when all I do is just try to make people laugh and have fun. Well, I it just depends on what kind of fun you're trying to make, I guess. Fats Eagle. Negative 15 Friday. My goodness. Do you go bowling a lot? You know, uh, at my last job, we used to go bowling every now and then. Halftime? Maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really have a reason to have a halftime, to be quite honest. I just need to keep fishing. Just need to keep fishing, man. We gotta catch more fish. I think we're we're only halfway to 75 and we still have we only have an hour to go less than an hour to go what time is it it's 8 47 here why don't you play call of the wild again Your guess is as good as mine, friend. Um, if you could... I know this is really specific. But if you could make this happen... Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember which one it is. I think it's the third. Let's see. Sorcerer's Stone. Chamber of Secret. Prisoner of Azkaban come after 
Chamber of Secret? I think it does. In the cha uh, in the Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, Hermione has that necklace that she can spin and go back in time a few hours um, for Christmas. If any of you could get me that necklace, I'd be able to put out so many more videos. Could you imagine? Like I could, I could actually like do all of my work, play some games to make videos, and then go back in time and edit them too. Like that'd be amazing. And then I could just do you know eating and sleeping, you know, like a normal person. Um. So whenever you ask yourself why hasn't Bo put out a video from this game or of this series, just realize that the answer is didn't have enough time. Two hours ahead of you. Oh, well now I can tell you the uh, the future. All right, see you later, pants. Not a lot going on right now, is there? I think we better change the time. Getting antsy. Getting antsy. Come on, fishing pole. Excited for Norway. Um, in a way. In a way. They didn't have the, uh, the ocean fish that I was hoping for. So, that stinks. But they did add, like, grayling and some other fish I didn't really see that well, but... I don't know. It'll be interesting. There's still, like, major... Excuse me. There's still, like, major, like... Just quality of life things that they need to fix in uh, uh, Call of the Wild, the angler, before I, like, truly enjoy the game. Um, the fact that anytime I sprint, my rod gets put away is extremely annoying. Um, uh, uh, being able to move, like, when I cast and stuff, or when I'm fighting a fish, like, I feel like that should have been stuff that was with the base game. Um, and if you're whining about it not being on console yet, like, I don't know if you even want it to be on console. It's not that fun to play with the way it is right now. Not if you're used to the way Fishing Planet is. You just get tired of the way the game is and, uh, and wait for it to be fixed, basically. You went ice fishing with your school's ice fishing team? How did it go? Can you make a video of how to catch... Gar in the Emmer in the Everglades, Allison. Um, I mean, honestly, I would just throw out bait for Gar. We would just catch him on frogs when we were fishing for bass. Uh, I never really had to specifically target Gar just because we'd end up catching him while we were fishing for bass. So, I don't know. Throw some frogs, you'll catch some bass and Gar at the same time. And, uh, and throw out some, like, shiners and stuff like that. Uh, or something specific that they like. Uh, because I'm sure the bass will take shiners, too. A little young Nile perch. Hate when we catch one small fish. Oh, we have a fish on. What the frick, dude? It's bad. 32 pound blue cat. Well, that's pretty cool. Got four northern pike on tip ups. Well, sweet. How big were the pike? Are they just kind of fun size? Just saying, I enjoy pike of all sizes. I mean, I'm sure once you get to the really big ones, you, you'll you have an affinity for the bigger ones and stuff like that. But, like, even a little two-pound pike is fun to fight. Those things will just, like, use their entire lanky body to 
pull you and it's just it's just fun once I catch a big one though I'm sure I'll prefer the big ones but, but yeah 34 34 pounds or 34 inches inches okay well it's I'm not sure how many pounds that is necessarily but seems decent seems decent enough get over the 90 pounder tonight with the uh, with the Nile perch I think the biggest one we've caught so far was what was it a, it was like a 300 and some pound trophy the biggest we've caught so far you think we should go up to a 14 knot I, I I feel like when before we were playing um, before when the first DLC came out we uh, we we would catch a lot more unique now perch and uh, and I kind of decided back then that 12 odds were the best way to go but uh, but maybe we need to try something different now it's pretty fat so maybe seven eight pounds okay how the line not broke the bar is red yeah, the bar is red but we have the rod set up for max drag so the it's not gonna break if you haven't seen that video you should go watch it see you later tackle box I never saw your question of above but what's your record bass in I don't it's like two and a half pounds or something like that I don't really fish for bass all that much we have a little fish on it's not really been in the rod all that much Oh boy, we have fish on both rods. Hmm, hmm, decisions, decisions. This one's already getting into an uh, area that we can actually get pulled to. Oh, now he's going away. We're slowly getting closer to that one. At 70, now he's at 80 feet now. Whoa, this guy's coming right towards us. He's coming right for us. 60 feet. Now he's starting to pull out more line. Joggle, he nail, joggle. What's up, Brit? How's it going? No one's taking out line. I basically just fight him. I take in as much line as I can, and then when they start to pull out line, I just say nope, and I change the rod. Fish escape due to low line tension. That's freaking stupid. Are you gonna upload the replay? The the replays get get uploaded every time automatically. I don't have to do anything about that. In a spillway near Sheboygan. I've heard good things about Sheboygan. In fact, there was a house available in Sheboygan that I really liked, but we, uh, um, it's, it's so far away from my uh, wife's work that it just seemed not like not a good choice. <laughs> it was going to be like an, an hour drive for her every day to go to work and then an hour back. And it was like, yeah, I love the idea of moving to Sheboygan, but I don't think it's going to work out for us. I think we're gonna change to this and then we'll go straight to nighttime afterwards let's see let's turn around I'm kind of curious where are the uh... oh let's try this do like a spy hop like a killer whale I, I, I guess not it's been so long since I've caught one Good God. I think the last Uni Nile perch we caught was probably like a week or two ago. Of course, we've been doing a lot of uh, um, tiger fish fishing because I was really struggling to catch those. So I kind of focused on them for a long time. But, but now, right now, we're trying to catch the darn Nile perch. I haven't caught one in a long time. The uniques, anyway. I've already spent money on the game. Yes. Have you realized that, like, we're sitting on a DLC boat and we have all sorts of DLCs. You know what? 
like making videos about this game is kind of the whole point if i'm not making videos of the dlcs then what's the point how are you supposed to know if you want to buy a dlc i still put out a video that says not to buy any dlcs but someone's got to make videos of what they are <laughs> i play both sides of the coin don't you know This guy's in the 20s. Come on, man. Get in. Oh, if we could just get this dude in the boat right now, I'd be so happy. Oh, you're being such a pain, bro. Go to the marsh. I haven't heard anything about the marsh. Heard things about the Sheboygan River, though. But the marsh, huh? Where is it that all the uh, the king salmon and start it, like start going through? Is there a specific river that they do that in? I've seen some videos of guys fishing for the kings and the cohos. And, uh, and I know they go through some specific river or something like that. Must. They've got to. Oh my god, I was trying to switch rods right there. Oh my god, fishing planet, you're killing me. You're killing me inside. Just grab the rod. Grab the rod. Grab the rod. Is it pay to win? There, There is nothing to win. It's not... <laughs> there, there is there is nothing to win in Fishing Planet. You can, you can do a competition if you want, but it's not like... It's not like you're playing Call of Duty and you can buy a DLC pack or something like that and it gives you the best gun in the game and now you're going against other players and you paid your way to the top so you're just killing everyone and doing amazing like there is nothing like that in fishing planet the x series gear is the best stuff in the game as far as i understand and you can't just buy that stuff you gotta you gotta win it you gotta do uh, achievements for it um in competitions so there there is no pay to win i see it all the time people say oh fishing planets pay to win it's not it's pay to finish if you want to. If you want someone to basically uh, get to the end of the game for you, if you just want to pay to get to the end of the game, which doesn't make any sense to me, <laughs> why would you why would you play a game if not to get to the end of the game? Why would you pay to get to the end of the game? So, I it doesn't make any sense why people would pay to make the game shorter. But people do it, man. People do it. You know what? We're just going to reel this fish in. I don't. I'm not even going to throw out another rod. Another small dude. Any river flowing into Lake Michigan starting in around March. Okay. How many is your money right now in game? I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere around two million. There comes a point in Fishing Planet where you really don't pay attention to your money. There's like honestly not enough stuff in the game to spend your money on. Um, you get to a point where you have so much of it that there's like no point to even worrying about it or even keeping track of it. What's the best map for me in Call of the Wild? I really liked uh, Reventuli just because of the uh, the ducks and stuff. I really liked being able to shoot at some flying targets. Um, but at the same time, uh, I have always liked Verhanga. It's always been my favorite map. I, uh, I have been on the edge of my seat waiting for them to put out a second African map for years. <laughs> and they have not. They haven't done it. 13 cards now? Ooh, very nice. How many accounts do we have? Just two. We have the free-to-play account, and we have the uh, this regular account that has premium and does the DLCs and all that sort of stuff. Alright, guys. If I, if I start throwing this, you're not going to get a bite, are you? Trusting you. Hey, okay, here we go. It's gonna do a short cast. Nope. Nope. 
All right, here we go. Just doing a little, little retrieve. Grogu, I remember anyone who's ever showed up. Anyone who's ever showed up in a live stream, I remember them. It's a curse and a blessing. What level are we on now? 74. This rod's getting messed with, I swear. You, now me. No, me. I know everyone. You know, it's shocking. I actually know most of the people who have never even showed up. A lot of the people who's, you know, say like, oh, this is my first stream. I've never been here before. Like, shockingly, like, I, I know them uh, before they even got here. So it's pretty amazing. Anyone who ever shows up to the live streams are usually pretty amazed whenever I uh, reveal that I do know them. Um, but that's just, it's just like a superpower. A superpower of sorts. My cross to bear. What's your name, by the way? What's your name? Ezekiel. Do I remember you, Squirrel? Yeah. Is there's no point to ask? Do you ask a fast person if he's fast? Huh? Do you ask a cheetah if he's got spots? A zebra if he has stripes? No, it's a given. There's no reason to even ask me if I remember you. Picture that. When you look at me, and you're thinking, you know, oh, does Bo remember someone? You just look at me and you realize, yes. As a zebra has stripes and a cheetah has spots, I remember everyone. There's no reason to ask. It's rhetorical. Oh, we got another one. Do you have tips for uh, Marone River? Absolutely, catch the catfish. Catch the big catfish. They're the only catfish in the game that actually give you good XP. And that's a fact, Jack. All right, Match Rod, you gonna do anything good or are you just gonna sit there? Be dumb. Right, you just sit there and be dumb. I'm gonna throw out this guy. He's actually catching fish right now. Can't find it on the shop exact because this DLC boat came out when uh, the Congo River came out. Uh, old Big Block 4401 gave us the Congo DLC because he's a kind guy. And so we've had the boat ever since. All right. I swear. They wait until I cast this thing, and then a bite goes off. YouTube su su suggested my channel. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll have to uh, send a fruit basket to YouTube. Goodness gracious. Yeah, good deal, Lou. Glad to hear it. Do you so bored, Maroon? Yeah, I understand. Whoa. We got a tip there. We got a tip there. We got a bite on the bottom rod. Hit, hop, hip, hippity, hip, hip, hop. Come on, pick it up here, Hino. Rate the new PFP one through ten. What is a P PFP? Am I falling into a trap here? I sound like an old person because I don't know what a PFP is. Hey, Sonny, what's a PFP? I've heard of PSPs before, but never a PFP. Yep. Go look for animals, shoot them dead. That's called wild for you. Well, fine. Good deal. See you later, Allison. Can you pronounce Wiyawega? 
Uh, yeah, it just did. 100% too. It's one thing everyone's really impressed with when it comes to Wisconsin stuff, is I already know how to pronounce everything in Wisconsin. Super easy. It's like I'm a native. A native speaker. You yeah, know. Uh, it's, it, people are like, ah, Sh Sheboygan, like, he, I'm like, yeah, I basically was, like, raised on the Sheboygan, living on a raft, you know, and don't you get me with that Winnebago, uh, it's not Winnebago, it's Winnebago, okay, just like a bagel, it's Winnebago, you eat bagels on the Winnebago, in, in the Winnebago, okay, don't get me with these A stuff, we're not, we're not Canadian, Ba, bago, like a like a sheep. Is there any bow with rod holder in the shop? There's not, no. Oh, profile picture. You couldn't just say profile picture. You had to say PFP. The heck, what, what is this world coming to? It's a pretty good one. Pretty good one, Grogu. What's up, Xavier says. What's up? You watch Catfish and Carp for Carp Fishing Guide Boat? Um, I did in the very beginning, yeah. Definitely. In fact, his, like, um, his, like, uh, little bait that he uses, I still use now. I, I don't know. There's some carp guys that, like, try different jellos and stuff like that the fake outdoorsman guy who shows up in the comments every once in a while like he likes to use lime um instead of strawberry and stuff like that but um i i just think i think the strawberry does fine man anytime he catches one on the lime he's like i'm telling you it's the lime the, they love the lime <laughs> Do Minnesota and Wisconsin hate each other? Uh, not as much as Illinois and Wisconsin. You know, since I'm going to be moving to Wisconsin, I have actually generated this hatred for Illinois. And I tell you, those Illinois people really start to Illinois me just because of how annoying they are. You know, Chicago Bears, more like Chicago Chipmunks, if you ask me. Uh, it's all about that, uh, that Green Bay Packers. All about the Green Bay Packers, man. The Waukesha. Oh, don't even get me started on the Waukesha. I grew up on the Waukesha. That's how to pronounce it. It doesn't matter if other people pronounce it differently. Uh, you know, take it from me, a native. Trophy Nile Perch. 20,000 XP, boy. We're uh, halfway to 75. That's not good with only 20 minutes remaining in our normal live stream time. Ghost Ladens from Illinois. <laughs> right on. I don't have anything against Illinois. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joshing. I'm joking. I'm fibbing. You know how it is. You're moving to Illinois, Sue. So, oh, so you'll get a, you'll get an opposite thing. You'll be like, ah, oh, those people from Wisconsin. Psh, telling you what, they can't drive worth a squirt. They can't drive. Those people from Wisconsin. Hey, hey, you up there, driving in the wrong lane, Wisconsin person. Shh. Now, if you could read the sign, maybe you'd know that you're in the wrong lane. But that's, that's just what Illinois people say. See how he's see how he's jerking the wheel there? Bad driver. He thinks he's uh he thinks he's a uh, squirting milk out of a cow or something. That's the wheel of a car, guy. Drive better. It's just a wild it's a wild thing. Because your dad's in the military? Oh, okay. What's he gonna defend in Illinois? The Great Lakes? Been in memes lately. Just been memes lately. And scarecrow. You're a scarecrow? Is that a Halloween thing? You're doing ha Halloween's been over for a while now. Or you mean like kind of Wizard of Oz scarecrow sort of thing? If I only had a brain. I uh obviously being a Kansan. Wizard of Oz. 
um, is one of our only claim claims to fame. Dwight D. Eisenhower, another one. Uh, people know about sunflowers and uh, and bison. That sort of thing. How much XP are you away? Level 75. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just joshing you, Grogu. I know. He didn't make E9, sadly. Oh. Well, that is pretty much the, the top for enlisted people. You away from level 75. A, a lot. Crazy. Kids these days. Spending too much time playing video games. That's what I have to say about that. 14 Great One Whitetail and 6 Great One Reindeer. Red, red Deer. Can't even read it because I'm so old. I tell you what, what's more impressive, moving out of your mom's basement. <laughs> just joshing you. I'm just a guy from Wisconsin just having fun. Yep. Exactly right. You know who's also 24 years old? My little brother. So, just crazy. We got, got him. <laughs> Oh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Because you teach me how to farming in low level while your beginner guide fishing. Hey, we right on, Axel. Glad to hear it. Do a collab with another Fishing Planet YouTuber? Um, yeah. I mean, maybe. I'm not. I don't really know any other Fishing Planet YouTubers. To be quite honest. I don't really know how to get a hold of them. Every time I comment in their uh, videos, they don't really comment back. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> What's the number one fish you want to catch in Wisconsin? Uh, phew, that's hard, man. I have a lot. I have a lot. I think it's just based on the videos I've seen, like, I'm really excited to go after Steelhead. And I know that at the same time, I'll probably get in some browns and stuff like that. So I'm really just excited to go down there and see what all I can catch. Um, but that'll probably be one of the first things I do. Uh, I will be getting there in March too, so if I can get down and uh, get into some some salmon or something and, and get some eggs that I can uh, cure and get ready for the rest of the year, that'll be a pretty big thing for me. I know the springtime is their kind of like... Uh, is there kind of breeding time or whatever? But uh, from what I hear, uh, those stocked fish don't really don't really breed all that much. We'll just have to see. What fish in Emerald Lakes are high XP? Oh, you're killing me, Smalls! You're killing me. Go watch the EESS video. They have huge steelhead. Oh yeah, definitely. Top five: steelhead, Browns. Um, uh, of course, there's different types of browns up there as well, so that'll be interesting. Um, I'm not sure which salmon I want to go for. Cohos and kings. And then maybe, um, I don't know, maybe some walleye or something like that. Hmm. Those are, uh... I mean, we have walleye in Kansas, but the rest of them we don't even have in Kansas. So, so those are my those are my big ones. Pike, musky would be super cool if we could get into a musky somewhere. But I realize that's gonna be that's gonna be a while. What level are you? We just arrived. <laughs> we've just shattered seventy-five, and we've gone on to eighty. So we're 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 almost level eighty now. No, we're uh, we are just, just barely past the halfway point to 75. My plans of hitting 75 have just been super slow today. I should have stuck to tiger fishing. 
I, I caught that one big Nile perch and it gave me like 9,000 XP and I thought this could work. We could catch a lot of these, um, we could catch a lot of these Nile perch and level up really fast, but, um, that is not how it's been so far. We are not leveling up fast at all. We catch a, a pretty good size one every now and then, but at the same time, like I was catching pretty good size, uh, tiger fish that were giving me a lot of XP as well. So not really sure which one I prefer. I think we'll catch this guy and then uh, go back to the bank and fish for some tiger fish. Best location for level 17. Isa, you know, you're in luck because we have an entire beginner series two. It's all listed by level. You can literally go there and say, hmm, I'm level 17. Uh, where, where was he when he was level 17? And then just go and watch that video and do the same thing if you want to. Um, but, uh, but if you just want to take a crack at it, just go, uh, just fish at Falcon Lake and see how you do. The hardest fighting freshwater fish? The musky? It, it could certainly be. I think it's always difficult to, uh, gauge what the hardest fighting fish is. Just because, um, it's hard to find two different species of fish. Um, that, like, are the same weight, I guess. Like, uh, I don't know. You get a, um, you get a, uh, a big muskie and then get a big alligator gar that are the same size and then compare the two. Like, what are the chances that you'll get to be able to fight those two in a similar like in the same week or something so that you can compare the fighting strength of the two. <laughs> you, you know? Yeah. Which well, I haven't played, but I'm going to vacation home and see family has. I'll use the free time to fish and play a blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, it sounds like you should just enjoy being uh, in that area, man. Sounds like a fun place to actually fish for real. If I could choose fishing in real life versus fishing in a game, I'd choose fishing in real life. Because it's actually rewarding <laughs> and, and not a digital game. <laughs> it's like super cold outside right now and dark so I'm playing a game but I would much rather be out fishing for real up here hard fighting fresh water oh yeah made sure they are credit cards so I typed in the correct dimensions oh, okay I mean if you really wanted me to 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 measure these out this is the size they are. Of course, now that you've made all 20 of them, that's probably not worth it. They are four by three, exactly. So they're three by fours, cards. I'm a tiny little square on your phone and I'm showing you a tinier square. That's fun. I don't know why we're trying to fish for it now, or uh, I didn't even change the time. Didn't even change the time. We did just get a bite on this, though. So we probably should have just let it sit there. Abdul! Thanks for this, sub, Abdul. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Thousands of fish. I've caught thousands of fish, thousands of fish, and thousands more. All right, let's actually switch it. change the time to a good time. Let's fish at night for a little bit. I'm just curious if we'll catch anything. What I'm throwing at right now, if you're all curious, um, there from this little rock here, there is actually a little curve in the deeper water. And I'm fishing, like, right on the edge of it. I could probably cast closer. Right, I'm trying to see. Probably try casting there, too. 
Seeing if that does us any good. Might toss one there just to see if we catch anything. Now that Witted's right on top of it, we can't see where it is. You must eat smallmouth for breakfast. Yeah, but if a, if a smallmouth was the size of a muskie, would it fight harder than the muskie? I mean, I, I think uh, the alligator gar I caught in Texas could probably eat a muskie for breakfast, but I can't say that it's the hardest fighting fish because if there was a muskie the size of an alligator gar, maybe it would fight harder. You understand what I'm trying to say here? It's hard to rate fish fighting. What level are you at right now? 74. Like we've said many times before. Yes, I kind of rhymed four with four there. That's not very creative. You have a phobia of anything? Not really a phobia of any sort. I think uh, as I was growing up, you know, and people would be like, what are you scared of? Like, I always be like, ah, not really anything. I can't think of them scared of anything and now as an adult like I can clearly think of things that I'm like truly scared of and I was like I was just being silly growing up saying I wasn't afraid of it obviously dying like I don't want to die so I'm obviously afraid of dying I have so many things I want to do in my life and dying would just throw off those plans so much I wouldn't be able to do any of them um, uh, anything that would throw off my plans for the future <laughs> would be a fear of mine my brother and i were playing a game recently that asked what's our biggest fear and we both wrote down uh both wrote down failure so that's something i realize now we just throw out uh 12 out hooks on uh large minnows on 12 out hooks so we'll have to change that of course we just caught something on it so that's gonna be interesting to see what we got there <laughs> oh god What's your favorite rod brand in real life? I don't think I have one. I have so many different rods from so many different companies. Um, I think I have the most rods from Nash. Close, uh, close seconds, probably Akuma, just just because I got a good deal on them. I uh, I was I was buying some catfish rods, and um, and Akuma had a sale um, on the same rods that I used to catch my big alligator gar in Texas. You, they were selling them for like $65, and I was like, are you kidding me? Got a, got a 300 pound fish on that. <laughs> if they can handle that, they can definitely handle some dang catfish in Kansas. So, uh, so I bought two of those rods. Um, but yeah. It wasn't a 300 pound fish, though. I always forget. 230, wasn't it? Pretty sure. 234. 234. Wrong rod. I'm not sure what fish is on this 12 out here, but I'm not saying I don't think we're really. F I think it's tiger fish, to be quite honest. If we could get this little guy in here quick. That would sure help. Would love to catch a peacock bass from Venn as well, because people say they try to rip their head off to get the hook out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what is, uh, what's like a dream fish for everyone? Ah, oh, you freaking fracking dude. I literally put it straight down and the rod just went completely slack. Hate that. Greetings from Indonesia. Well, thank you. We got a little trophy, 8,000 XP. Alrighty, let's change the time here. I think we can spend uh, 15 minutes searching for some tiger fish. It is three minutes till uh, stream time. I might do a halftime show at uh, at the uh, end of stream time and then go talk to my wife and then I'll be hopefully be back to decide what we're going to do because we are so far away from 75. <laughs> it's it's not even 
not even funny. We're so we're we're like just past halfway. I really thought we would we would be able to get it tonight. Nice to meet you. I knew to fish and play in it around one two months. Your beginner mistake max drag really help. Can I get your opinion? Which one XP wise, weeping will or blue crap? Uh, hard to say. Quite honest, I'm not really sure. I've never done a like a really good comparison to compare the two, but um, feel free to try the two out and compare them and let me know what you think. Can't remember which one we put on there. Um, I think if you can really get into a lot of uh, uniques at Weeping Willow, it might pay off. But at the same time, it just might not pay off. Blue crab might be better, but I, I, I don't know. Give it a give it a go. Your first live, love your vids, Carson. Thank you, appreciate it. Saint Croix. I have one Saint Croix rod. Hopefully tomorrow is a snow day. You want a snow day, eh? Yours would be a tarpon. 45 pound lake trout from jugging. From jugging, eh? Squirrel. Got one fish on. Put the rod down, Hino. A jigging. Oh, okay. Huge blue marlin. 300 pound catfish. That would be something. You can't catch a muskie in Africa. Who said they were catching muskie now? When's the last time you heard about someone talking about Connecticut? Probably my wife talking about Gilmore Girls. Catching a huge muskie. Because it was my best friend's birthday and I caught a 12 pound walleye at the damn near. Wow, very nice. That's a, that's a really good walleye. I mean, for Kansas standards, for sure. What's the most amount of views you've ever had on video? I'm not really sure. I over maybe close to 100 or a little over. I'm not I'm not 100% sure to be quite honest. I've never truly had like a video go like super duper viral 1 million views plus. Um but the closest I've gotten to that Oh, well, this is a, is this an African? No, it's a Goliath. Okay. I was gonna say... Golly, that would've been a big African. <laughs> okay. Um, was the uh, Frog in the Everglades videos got a lot of views? There's some other ones that are up there as well. Uh, what's on that? Best unlocked items at level 75. I'm only level 28. Is it the best unlocked items at level 75? No, you you unlock the Congo at level 75. For good. Not from a Thanksgiving DLC thing. What should we try? Should we just throw this? Let's get some um, smaller offset hooks. throw this for a tiger fish. Whoa! Yeah. Another bite! Jeremy Wade tries to catch the Nile perch. See North, you've had three comments now where I have no idea what you're even referencing. What are you what are you talking about? What does it take to get to level 75? Lots of fish, am I right? It's like, hold on there, Buster. How many fish do I need to catch? <laughs> Apparently a lot. Ah, 
Oh, I was really sure that was a Goliath. Or uh, an African. What do you think is the most boring state in America? I think Connecticut or Delaware. Certainly it might be. I'm not sure. I, I know we got an owl perch. I was taking notes for it for an upcoming River Monsters episode. All right, guys. I am going to do a quick little um, break here. And I'll be right back. Easy Hub Halftime Show. Not sponsored by any of these brands. Now, take it away, Dwarven Pirate. Arr, aren't you tired of not being a part of the ship of BZ Hubbards? Well, are you? Support Bo and the BZ Hub by becoming a member today for only two measly doubloons. And if you're feeling extra generous, become a Hub Lord for only 10 pieces of booty a month. But if you've got treasure bursting from your pockets, become a Hub Master for only 20 doubloons a month. And that's a great price. And if you ask Bo, he'll say I'm cutting this a little short. What? Wait, is that a height joke? <laughs> Curse you, Bo! A fast ye matey! A guy! And now, a glimpse into the future. Now, back to your scheduled broadcast. I just wanted to say thanks. Good deal. We're back at it. Back at it. And I had him. God. <laughs> Uh, too much to explain. Comments before was just me talking to someone. Oh, okay. I was like looking for a comment you were maybe replying to and I, I couldn't find anything so I was very concerned. Still not unlocked Blue Crab but looking forward to it. Got time. Got hard time using Hook, 10 Ot, and Weeping Willow as it hardly got by even with Recipe. You need to switch to 6 Ot, 7 Ot. Yeah, it's hard to say anymore, man. Fishing Planet's made so many changes, I swear. They, like, watch, I swear. This might be a conspiracy. Might be a, a conspiracy of mine. But I swear, Fishing Planet watches my videos and does everything they can to make it harder for me. I think they literally just don't like me. They hate my guts. They see all the places I'm fishing and they make them trash. They see the fish I'm fishing for, catching the uniques and whatnot, and they get rid of that way to do it. Um, they probably saw my recipe for Weeping Willows and was like, oh, let's make that, let's make that bad now so it doesn't work anymore. And and they just like sit back in their little office chairs and just, he, we got him. <laughs> Guess what, Bo? Your stuff's not good anymore. <laughs> I swear, I swear. <laughs> I don't know what else it is, man. It's just crazy. We uh we had a um back in uh, Maku. Back in Maku, we had a Payara spot. We would literally go there throughout the stream. And just catch a unique Pyara over and over and over again. Um, and then like a week later, we went back to it. It was nothing. Like we would sit there for like half an hour trying to do it. We, would, we wouldn't catch one the entire stream. It's like, how does that even happen? You fish the same weather, same lures, same retrieves, same spots. That you got three to four uniques in one live stream and the next live stream you get nothing doesn't even make sense 
Doesn't even make sense, man. Let's see if we can get one at night. Otherwise, I'll tell you what. We're going to be switching switching the time again. By golly. By golly. Oh, got that drip. Do I have the drip? I'm trying to get my little freaking ball over here. There you go. Good, good hair flip. I've never had long enough hair to be able to do the cool hair flips that the guys in middle school were able to do. Back when, uh, you know, Bieber was at the height of his fame and, like, having long hair was super cool. I was not one of those guys. I still had super short hair. <laughs> I just wasn't one of those dudes that really got into trends. Whenever everyone was like, oh my god. You gotta have long hair. You gotta have long hair. It's just what all the cool guys are doing right now. I was like, nah. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want long hair. <laughs> you hate long hair? <laughs> Everyone's getting a man bun. It looks super cool. It's fun to see guys have so much, uh, what's it called? Confidence in how they look. It's like, okay. Well, I am not going to have a man bun, so... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Another trend that I will not get into. <laughs> Fishing Planet. Aiden Wilkerson, how are you doing? Yeah, I had the same thing happen with Tarp and a Blue Crab as well. Or we, like, one live stream, we were literally just, like, fishing mornings and evenings of this one specific day and just catching unique after unique. And we went back there, like, three weeks later, and we caught nothing. Just nothing whatsoever. I even named the stream Let's Catch Some Tarpon. And then we caught no tarpon the entire time. <laughs> but, like, little, ta like, maybe we caught a trophy at one point. It was bad. It was so bad. Three to five uniques, good one. But the fish did not manage to get more than 25 kg. See your video, you got 30 plus. Yeah, we were getting a ton of uniques in that video. <sighs> you wouldn't catch me dead with one of those. I remember. I remember. I remember the man bun. They were pre-COVID. Man buns were pre-COVID. I think once COVID happened, I think uh, the man bun made people more susceptible to COVID somehow. And people cut them all off. UBZ. What do you mean, Aiden? And then it just goes downhill afterwards. <laughs> you think you've got it figured out. And then and then Blue Crab just has other plans for you, evidently. I've tried getting into carp fishing, but I have problems with Bluegill eating your bait. You shouldn't have a problem with Bluegill eating your bait. Like they're literally eating the pack bait off of your, uh, off of your uh, sinker, or your lead, or whatever, or, or they're actually like grabbing your hook and swimming off with it. I don't think I've ever caught a bluegill. Got catfish, bullhead, and channel cats. I've never caught a bluegill. Not on carp stuff. Captain Unicorn. Well, we caught a little African tiger. We'll stay here for a few more minutes and see if we get anything. Catching carb right now. All right on. You have a feeling barometric pressure applies somehow. I swear barometric pe pressure is just like... I don't even know what to think of it. It makes sense from a certain point of view, and at the other point of view, I'm just like, how does how does how is it even helpful? I guess. So if it's high barometric pressure, then the fish feel weighed down. Is that it? Something like that, and so they're down low and slow or something like that and then if it's low barometric pressure then they're up high i might have that backwards and and if they're up high then something else 
I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. The bluegill here are so dumb to catch them on bear hug. I don't think um, they're necessarily dumb. They're just defensive. And it gets them. They're like, uh, they're like, picture a caveman that just runs at anything that's mildly, uh, mildly, uh, 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 looks like something that's, that's trying to hurt them or something like that. And they're just like, oh my God, what's that? I'm going to run at it, hit it with a club. And, and then they turn around and they see something else and they're like, oh my God, what is that? I'm going to run and hit it with a club. Like, Blue will have the same mentality. They're like, oh my god, what is that? It's floating right in front of me. I'm gonna hit the crap out of it. And they just go over there and, and bite it. It doesn't matter what it is. But they have the mindset of, like, a very large fish that just wants to be king of the water or something like that. And so they just attack everything. <laughs> and if you want to say that's stupid, then it probably is. You know, if you can't recognize that's, that, that that's like literally a bear hook in front of you. But otherwise, I think it's kind of funny that they're just like super aggressive little tiny fish. They have like a... It should be like little fish syndrome or something like that. They like... They feel like they can take on the world. But they're just this tiny little fish. Alright. Oh, I knew it. Well, we're catching some little African tigers anyway. Not sure we're getting a ton of XP for them. Low barometric pressure means they bite at the bottom. Okay. Look this up for me. I use a top wire on lower. I use casting sort of bastard by make sure the lure is close to the bottom. Well, that's one example. One example. fish on. They bite the bear hooks more than lures. <laughs> Carp is also loaded with hybrid bluegill and they eat almost anything so as soon as my bait hits the water they are all over it. Ah oh, jeez. Ah oh, jeez. Well, I guess you could always go up to a larger hook. You could probably go to a number one hook and do fine. This guy's taking us out to 195 feet. Kind of impressive for a little four-aught hook. Marvelous. With a large minnow. Still not taking us out to 200 yet, but got us close. No, absolutely, CJ. Well, you're the one who kind of showed the spots for it. Still getting to it. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that stuff for the most part. I mean, on those days, they also tell you if it's rainy or sunny, but they don't, like, specify what part of the day is rainy or sunny. So even if they gave you a barometric pressure reading, how are you supposed to know that it's like that for the entire day? If, if all they tell you is rainy, but it only rains for like three hours of the entire day, then how accurate is that weather forecast? Big Hootie Tarpon, bro. I, I completely understand, Top Shotta. On a spinner bait before? I don't think I've ever caught one on a spinner bait. Is this an? Oh, it's a Goliath. I was gonna say if this is an African boy, we are set. That's a monster. I was hoping it would be too, unless you're talking about your game. No, go back. Go shore. All right, we found a good day. Good day of fishing. We're, in fact, I'm going to go to a different spot. We've been fishing this spot the whole... We've been fishing this waterfall the entire time. Let's go somewhere else. 
Spoke too soon, I know. You jinxed me, it's obviously all your fault. <laughs> There is mostly grass carp in there, and there is two over 20 pounds. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, you could try to use a number one hook. That might help with the uh, bluegill. Obviously have that uh, fake corn on a, on a hair rig. That way if they go over and start pecking at it or something like that, the hook's so big. Um, and there should be enough separation that they don't, uh, they aren't able to get hooked. But for a big grass carp that comes over and sucks up the whole thing, like it'll, as they spit it out, it'll it'll hook on their bottom lip. Hopefully, you can always hope. Got a unique Florida gar, fantastic, Clayton. A bass tournament a few weeks ago and caught a yellow perch in southern Tennessee. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Now, is that fairly rare in southern Tennessee, or or in Tennessee at all? I, I don't even know. Perch. <laughs> Alrighty. Fishing this spot now. usually do pretty good at this spot. I've caught unis at the other spot too, but I, I feel like I've caught more unis here than the other spot. the match rod everywhere here which to me sounds fun I mean are they um, will they go after a little uh, soft little soft baits and stuff like that the perch the yellow perch and whatnot I have a 56 pound leader, 58 pound line, and a two or three drag. I set the hook and the leader breaks. Well, what's your, what's your rod and reel you're using? A little trophy African, that'll help. On a 12 aught, two, didn't change that, that's funny. Let's change that puppy. Nice. So I mean, I, I honestly like using lures up north sounds so much fun because you you you've got perch, you've got um, pike, smallmouth bass, uh, muskies. There's so many different fish that go after little lures and stuff like that. Sounds like a blast, dude. Small minnows work the best, though. We are about two-thirds way to 75, everybody. The Santa hat is getting... I'm gonna hold my ears down. I kind of look like an elf right now. <laughs> Making my ears hot.
58.4 pound rod and reel. Yeah. So. So I'm not sure how much drag you have. But using a 58.4 pound rod and reel, you should be using more than 58.4 pounds of, uh, of drag on your line. Otherwise, you won't be able to use max drag. How long has the stream been going? Since uh, 7.30. A little bit before that, anyway. Maybe. Get in here real quick, little African. Little guy. Little striper. Little African striper. Get in. Come on, Hino. No, I know you're grabbing the wrong rod. If I'm hitting shift one, it's because I want you to pick up the one in the freaking rod holder, bro. Driving me crazy. You want me to make more fish cards? I will. Oh, all right. My printer's out of ink right now, so I'm not going to be able to print them off. Figure out my chest pain. It's type of center from being in front of me. I think that's what I have. It says you need to drink milk. Drink more milk. What are you doing with your life? Come on. Drink more milk. Haven't you ever seen those commercials for Got Milk? Y you evidently say no to those commercials, huh? Got Milk? No. I'm joshing you. Well, sounds like you figured it out then. That's good. Say what's up to all. What's up to all and to all a good night. We're just hanging out past stream time. You know us. We're rebels. It's fine, Bo. You can print them in good time. Thank you, CJ. That's what they say. They say, oh, pff, Bo, that's the Fishing Planet rebel. He does things in Fishing Planet, does everything they can to make it harder for him. That's how much of a rebel he is. Fighting the man. Fighting the system. We won't let the man win. We're the little guy playing a game to have fun. Lou with the thumb up. Yeah. Um, well, the bite has completely stopped. Not a good sign. Generally. Oh, we could actually throw uh, some lures, I suppose. <laughs> Let's try this thing. Flat spoon. Do you know that the steelhead and salmon are invasive to the Great Lakes? I, I didn't think they were invasive because they were literally put there on purpose. They, they literally have a uh, steelhead hatchery on the Sheboygan River, don't they? How could they be considered invasive? We're literally letting them go in the river. Piece is back, good deal. Well, nothing wanted the flat spoon, huh? <laughs> this is another slight way that Fishing Planet is making you do more work. They they change the amount of fish that you can catch in a certain location. So you either have to move locations or you have to like spend a bait coin to change the time to catch more fish. Over time, all those bait coins will add up, right? I'm telling you, they're doing clever little things. And I don't necessarily like it. I'm a runner, but not long after the bill did something, now you can't catch them at night. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you could keep fishing them at night, I mean, that was a huge exploit because they're like the, the biggest 
money makers at Marone River, money and XP. And if you can fish for them at night, to be quite honest, I am surprised that, uh, God, I swear to God, he knew. I don't know how you can hold shift and hit a button and he just grabs his other rod. It's like my shift button doesn't even work. Is the most aggravating thing in the entire world right now. This one seems bigger. Oh, he's a Goliath. That's ah, stupid Goliath. Don't want you, 45 pound Goliath. I want a 45 pound African. Stupid. I'm changing the hook size. At least then maybe I'll get a good size Goliath. See you later, Abdul. Guys, I think we have a fish on. Nine pound line, but 56 pound line, and using two or three line drag. You have 59 pound line, but 56 pound line. You have 56 pound leader. Is that what you're saying? If, if you have a 56 pound leader and that's less than your rod and reel, then, then you're not gonna be able to do max drag. I'm not sure. You keep saying two to three line drag. I don't know how many that is because every rod or every reel has a different amount of drag. Not every reel, but a lot of the, well, there's different reels with different types of drag. There's a trophy, that's a little bit better. That was on the 4 rod. Just slowly changing all of our rods to 4 rods. What gift can you give this friend, give your friend in this game? I don't know. Cheap, cheap DLC. Some, some bait coins. Pick that up. See you later, Mr. Squirrel. On the East Coast, hundreds of years ago, they got in from the ocean. Steelhead and salmon got in from the ocean on the east coast. Hmm. Now it attracts tourists. I mean, I, I assume it attracts anglers from all all sorts of places. Yeah. That is kind of how it works. I don't think they would spend all that money to create a hatchery and put the fish in if they weren't going to make money from them. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of those government, you know, funded conservation sort of things, like they, they kind of need to make money to keep running. So, yeah. <laughs> Bye, BZ. See you later, ghost. Thanks for the tour. Please, can you make it to it for a combination of items from the shop? I do not understand how it all work there. Combination of items from the shop. We have a uh, all rods guide. Have you seen the uh, all rods guide where we, we show how to put together every type of rod in the game? That might be what you're looking for there, Viper. How are you doing? We're not doing too bad. We keep hitting little spurts of moments where we're not catching anything, though. And it's not as easy to just... You either have to run all the way over here to get in your boat to get all your rods out, or you have to reel in every single rod individually. I'm not really sure which one I prefer. They're both kind of annoying. But let's change the time again. Best size hooks for tigers and goliaths. There's differing opinions on that. I don't know. I I seem to I I got a four aught from uh, someone, and so I was using four aughts for the African tigers, and I've caught uniques on those. Um, and I I've caught unique goliaths on eight aughts. But I I'm not sure which one I really think is the best per se. Six minutes. We don't have time for six minutes. 
We're on a deadline. Need a rod hooker out. That would help. Won't run out of fish. In theory, yeah. There is a uh, a Patagonia documentary on um, on fisheries and hatcheries and stuff like that. That's probably worth a worth a watch. It primarily focuses on salmon, but it, it kind of applies to trout too. It not too old for this version of game. I try to look and do not find. Yeah, I, I don't know. Just just search BZ Hub all rod setup. Fishing planet. Throw in fish. That might help. <laughs> Throw in some something about fishing planet. What's up, Hayden? They also let in sea lamprey, which are like giant. Le yeah, I know about those. I know, those those are truly invasive. Ice fishing and then they friend caught a walleye with lamprey. Oh, really? Wow. suck the life out of fish if we yeah if we view blood as you know life I mean they call it life blood right so uh, yeah it makes sense should I buy the carp rods to fish for sturgeon the cat boxes seem to have a little more power but still a long fight uh, no I wouldn't buy carp rods to fish for sturgeon carp rods can only be put together with carp stuff I don't know what carp stuff you'd use to catch sturgeon. I'm sure, like, in real life, you could probably get a sturgeon to go after a shellfish oily of some sort, but I'm not sure they have the game set up that way. Well, this stinks. We switched time to be at the next good time for tigerfish, and we're not catching anything. Just wasting our time away. Wasting our time. The fishing plant's already struck again. They're all laughing in their offices going, Ha ha ha! It's the first time we've changed something on him during a stream! Ha ha! He's not catching anything! Everyone's just watching him not catching anything! He looks stupid! Ha 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 ha! We've got him again! <laughs> Alrighty, where should we go now? Where should we go? Uh, at least it's a beautiful day. 77 degrees outside. Oh, you couldn't have asked for much more. <laughs> hmm. I'm not tired. You're tired. Now I'm realizing that that little icon, that middle icon on the side almost looks like a power drill with like a propeller attached to the handle. That's kind of fun. There's an invisible wall there. Back to this spot. I was thinking we might go to that other spot, but I'm just not feeling it. I was really hoping that one spot would be the the killer, the killer spot, but it's just not. It's not working out for us right now. The waterfall. The waterfall corner. Let's 
some wall, and if you catch one, you can get a hundred dollars. Wow. My goodness gracious. You know what I would do with a hundred dollars I caught from a walleye? Well, you use it to catch more walleye. Dad, show him. Dad, show him who's boss. Good luck out there tonight. Thank you, Gage. Appreciate it. I feel like an athlete now. Hey, good luck out there tonight. Just do the plays like we did in practice. I'm sure we'll come out on top. Thanks, coach. Any advice on fishing in October? Uh... Avoid the belugas. There's no way to avoid them if you're fishing for the Wells catfish. Um, when you go to October for the first time, catching the beluga sturgeon is going to be super sweet. You're going to be like super stoked about it. Yes, I finally caught a beluga sturgeon. And then after that, they just become annoying. They're like, they take the longest freaking time to reel in. And they're just a big, lumbering, dumb fish um, that, mo that you can't even keep. So, you get some XP for them, but that's about it. In the spring, you can watch underwater cameras they have in the Wolf River that are live so you can see when the walleye are running. Really? That's kind of cool. I have assume I, I assume that creates like a line of characters along the river fishing, eh? I've never been in a scenario like that. I'm not used to that sort of fishing. We're like in Kansas, it gets to the point where like if you go to a pond and like another guy's fishing, like you may be like, uh, I wanna fish. Maybe. I'll just try to avoid where he's fishing. And then if a third person shows up, like, they're just like, oh, there's already two people fishing here. I'll just leave. <laughs> the river's packed with, yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, my goodness. Also says you need to stretch. Yeah, stretch more, man. What do you think I do every morning when I wake up? Do my, do my stretches. My aerobics. Do some arm circles, you know? <laughs> Gotta stay healthy. So grind San Joaquin until Weaving Willows. Got it. Yeah, pretty much. Why, why do you think my list is an EESS Octuba River? Just, it just goes from San Joaquin up. And I don't even know if I like Weaving Willows better than Blue Crab. I probably do, but at the same time, I don't know. It's quite the unique experience. I I would assume so, yeah. Oh, well, go catch one then. Then you'll be done with it. Yay, a Goliath! Woo, woo! We got one, you guys! Never want to be at the point where my iron levels were dangerously low ever again. Well, I, I can agree with that. There is a... Um, if you look it up, there's a there's an iron fish. You might know about this because you, uh, you have iron deficiency or whatever you want to say. But there's this iron fish that you can actually like boil water with. You can just put it in the bottom of your pot, and then when you're, like, boiling water for, like, pasta and, and like, soups and stuff like that, or uh, whatever else you're using the water for, like, uh, just keeping it in there as you boil the water will get some of the iron off the fish and put it into the water so that when you're eating it, it, like, helps out your iron levels in your body. Um, it's a really simple thing, but it's been around for, like, I don't even know how many years. 100 plus...
I just remember reading a factoid about it. Take you to get that high of level too long, but we really weren't playing all that much. And I was making videos the whole way. Try that iron fish. Yeah, man. See if you can find one on Amazon or something. <laughs> or whatever you use in Australia. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it was old. So I don't even know if they sell anymore. So it could be interesting to see if they do sell and all that sort of stuff. Now I really want to look it up and see. How goes the things and stuff? Uh, this election, we're doing quite well. As you can see, we are catching a another fish. <laughs> I don't know how many fish we've caught tonight, but it's, it's a fair. It's a fair many. Um, we're, uh, we're just over two-thirds way to 75, unfortunately. I thought we would be a lot closer than we are, but we're not. So that's, uh, that's kind of a slight bummer. But uh, otherwise, you know, we're just trucking on. Ah, oh, what are you? Oh, it's a freaking Goliath. I was really excited for a second. Every time one of these guys comes up out of the water, I swear I see stripes on them. Um, it's really just my imagination most of the time. <laughs> there is so much iron in the water, it looks almost like lemonade. Really? Hemoglobins? Don't be talking about he hemoglobins. Don't, don't like the goblins. Iron fish got it to 130. Well, that's good. Every time I read hemoglobin, I just think of hobgoblin. So I just picture hemoglobins as a, as little goblins in your body. Little yellow goblins. Six K a pop. Oh, the small ones anyway. Which is kind of crazy because there's really no reason we need that much money. Like, I, I feel like this is something Fishing Planet is gonna like change, just because I said that. But like, we have so much money now, we don't even know what to do with it all. We're on our way to three million. And it's at this point where people just talk about how much money they have, cause like, like it just keeps going up. There's really nothing to spend it on. So like, yeah, I don't know. Probably wouldn't have this much money if I had something good to spend it on. <laughs> you know, like uh, mounts to put in a uh, lodge or something. Just had a blood drive at your school today. Very nice. Will you stream next week? I probably will, yeah. I hope that they do the uh, the Christmas stuff this next week. That'd be fun. Fun to do. You know. Lucky iron fish. They're made of cast iron used in boiling water to provide elemental iron to the water and food cooking it. There you go. Yes, thank you. Okay, I got you, CJ. Two fish on at the same time. Not too shabby. Adventures with Grayson is going to get off. All right, man. Uh, just want to make sure that guy didn't get too, too comfortable down there. This guy's almost in. Get in here, you guy. Little African. Come on, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. 
Successful juggle. I have two now. Yep. From the iron fish thingy. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Cast iron skills can be annoying at times. Stuff sticks to them and stuff. I I I honestly cook everything in a wok. Uh, besides pasta, because usually I'll I'll be cooking something to put into the pasta. You know, if uh, if we got noodles going on in a in a pot, and then I have uh, you know something else going on in another pot. Otherwise, I'll, I'll use the wok for everything. I don't even use a skillet of any sort. I have lots of lots of different little uh, pans and stuff like that. And I don't use any of them. I got one walk, and it handles everything. <laughs> I love that walk. It was only like 26 bucks, and I use it for everything. <laughs> so if I wanted to cook something, some hamburger helper or something like that, with some milk and water and stuff like that and boil it, I could throw it into my walk, all the hamburger helper and stuff, it would get some of that iron out of it. Potentially. But not enough. Oh, man. Well, at least you caught on. There have been... Watching your videos and they're helping through the rough time. Well, glad to hear it, T-Smart. It's never fun to be, uh... To be feeling that way, that's for sure. And, uh, I'm glad that it's helping. Takes away your motivation and appetite. So then you don't even want to eat anything with iron? That's even worse. It's like a poison that's forcing you to not try and find the antidote. Sure, the economy was still super inflated like it is now, but, like, this game progressed a lot, yeah. I can only imagine, man. Well, there's a trophy Goliath. That's a good 20,000 XP. I'll take more of those, please. Yes, please. Just the other day, I was reeling in two different fish, and I was juggling them back and forth, and, uh, and I got one in. They were both taking quite a while to reel in, and I got one in, it was a trophy Goliath, like 19,000, nearly 20,000 XP. And then I, I reach over and grab the other rod and reel that one in. It was another trophy Goliath, nearly 20,000 XP. So, like, just in like one, you know, in five minutes, I got a quick 40,000 XP. And then just kept fishing and just kept catching more tiger fish. It was pretty nice. It was pretty nice. See, that's horrible. Ah, uh, it's saying Sea North. Or right hear that? I don't know, Ash. That's a great question. Next time you talk to some Fishing Planet people, you have to let, uh, you know, ask them and then see what they say. A trophy Largies and Peacocks. I understand, dude. I completely understand. Good catfishing on the main river. I'm uh, catfishing on the main river. <laughs> Thanks, Black Viper. Yeah, the bass fishing out there really is pretty fun. What are we thinking? Uh, this is Tiger African. Oh, you're still just a regular one. I got excited. Put up a little bit of a scrap, and I was like, maybe he's a trophy or something. No. All right, everyone. The good news is, I think we're three quarters of the way there. 
Good deal. And we're still 70 strong at 1030 at night, basically. That's not too bad. I guess we could throw a lure at the same time, eh? Stop being so lazy all the time. Catching that stupid terror tarpon. Yeah, the terror tarpon was a terror to catch, to be quite honest. I was really worried I was going to have to go back and catch more of that uh, bait to catch it. Three gets to be a circus sometimes. Yeah, I can understand. Usually if I'm trying to juggle four, uh, I end up losing at least one of them. But the three's fairly, it's not easy, but it's manageable. All right, it's a yummy ribbed shad. And it's doing your favorite stop and go maneuver. Everyone loves eating a stop and go maneuver. I mean, look at it. It stops and then it goes. Mmm, makes you rub your tummy. You know, these fish just don't understand good food when they see it. Did we try to catch the Congo monster fish? No. We, we didn't even have access to the Congo, so we couldn't even get there. We had already been gifted the, the, the two Congo DLCs that would have been able to get us to the Congo to get, to get it. But we just, we didn't, we didn't get it. <laughs> Spending another bait coin. Let's see if we can get some at night. Let's see if we can get some at night. Come on, Hina, let's get some unicorns. Yeah, I know. Boy, if we could get one unicorn, I'd be pretty stoked. Thing is, I don't even know what I could be doing differently to get, like, to have a better chance of catching a unicorn. It used to feel like when you played Fishing Planet, if you, like, if you had the knowledge to be able to do something and you went out to the spot at the right time with the right lures and use the right retrieve or whatever, you could catch a unicorn within you know five ten minutes now it feels like it's almost like uh it's more like focus on luck you just need to be lucky i don't know maybe i just don't have the right combination of stuff anymore they've changed it and i no longer know how to do this stuff i don't know it's frustrating drive my snowmobile to school tomorrow Ooh, sounds Sounds interesting. Ah, oh, there's a bite. Mm. Whew. Taking some line. See you, see you fish. You've got the right tackle. Yeah, good deal. You get to flex on everyone. Oh, oh. It'd be like uh, Adam Sandler and uh, Billy Madison when he drives up to school on, with his muscle car. Blaring music. Fun fact about largemouth bass is they are part of the sunfish family. Maybe overall. They're like, uh, they're part of the black bass family. Um, and I'm not sure how the sunfish relate to it. But yeah, I mean, obviously, sunfish get, I mean, uh, green sunfish even look like a, a small little bass. 
then you get to the point where the sunfish get so big they're they're called rock bass, and then you then you're basically getting to like a smallmouth, which is just like a, a giant green sunfish. <laughs> Well, I've got two on now. Oh my god, are you joking me? It's, it, it went down for three seconds. You only made a couple videos for Open Country, did you not like it? Um... I played it when it, when the game, like, I, I was playing it in beta, like, before the game even came out. Um, I just, I just didn't get it. Just, I just didn't get it. I, uh, they asked me what I thought of the game and asked me what I should, like, like, what I'd recommend changing. And, um... Yeah, I just wasn't a fan of the game. <laughs> uh, and it's it goes back to that whole thing of like everyone is so like stoked about having like a really good fishing and hunting game, and I'm like you don't understand. If they try to make a hunting and fishing game, it ends up being bad. Like I don't know if it's a curse. Or if it's just plain too much work to do to make two realistic uh, activities in the same game. Um, but anytime a game tries to put hunting and fishing into the same game, it just sucks. And, and Open Country did that. And I remember them being like, well, should we... Should we make it more about hunting? And I was like, I don't know. Is it, is it a hunting game? Because there's a lot of camping and survival and fishing going on for it to be a hunting game. They were like, okay. Should it be like a fishing game? And I was like, I don't think so. You sure got a lot of hunting and camping going on for it to be a fishing game. They're like, okay, well, we're just kind of combining it all together. And I'm like, right. I don't think people are going to enjoy that. Like, people talk about it, they talk about them enjoying it, but it's just gonna end up being bad. And, uh, an open country really didn't go anywhere after that. After the initial release, release of it. Maybe it did, honestly. <laughs> I haven't been ke keeping up with the news for it. Maybe it's grown into a beautiful game, and it's got a devote devoted following of literally tens of tens of people or something like that that's a shame i know but to be quite honest if i had two hundred thousand dollars i would not invest it into a camping slash survival slash fishing slash hunting game it just shows how much they just don't know about the genre just a bad bet from the very beginning such a beautiful place and I'll, I'll have to uh, I'll have to do that for sure I'm getting as many views as some of your others you people here not like Fallout <laughs> evidently you don't even know what the number is it's 76 not 36 <laughs> do you hit level 75 yet I don't know is the title of the stream the stream won't end until I hit level 75 does that does that help answer your question love to see the Rapala games make a comeback Rapala tournament fishing on the Wii was a masterpiece really was it well on 76 you man <laughs> yeah no, the thing is, is that Fallout 76 really has a, um, a big following. Like, there's like two or three times as many people that watch Fallout 76 videos as Fishing Planet videos. 
So I'm just slowly putting in Fallout 76 videos. Especially on Mondays and Wednesdays when I usually don't even, you know, put out a video because I do a live stream, so... No, no point to me posting two videos on the same day. Um... But... As far as the YouTube algorithm goes. So, I've just been putting out little bits about Fallout 76 here and there just to see if we can get any of the Fallout 76 people to come check out the channel. Plus, they, they have a lot of, like, really quick things to make videos over in Fallout 76 versus, I don't know, like the, the, um, and maybe you'd be interested in it, but, like, the equivalent would be being, like, showing up to Lone Star Lake and being like, all right, guys, today we're going to be fishing for a bluegill. Get ready. And then I go, this is the gear I'm using to catch a bluegill, and this is the bait. Let's go catch a bluegill. And then I go out there and I flick my rod out there, wait a little bit, and then I put it, put that bluegill into my hand and I go, all right, guys, that was it. The bluegill. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe. See you later. And, and if people would watch those videos, then I would just do one of those videos for every single fish in the game. Um, and that's the sort of videos that you can make in Fallout 76. Hey guys, we're going to be doing a mission today. Let's do the mission. And then you do the mission, and when the mission's over, the video's over. And then you move on with your day. Those, those sorts of videos work with my schedule so much more than this fishing planet. Especially now, now that the uniques are such a pain to catch. It works with my schedule so much more than being like, alright guys, we're gonna go out and we're gonna catch a unique red tail and gilded today and then I sit here for three hours trying to catch uh, two catfish like that doesn't go with my schedule anymore I'm way too busy <laughs> way too busy 300 million dollars 300 million dollars Find a functioning Wii or a way to emulate the Wii remote properly on Windows. I'm sure you can get a functioning Wii for like 20 bucks. I'm sure it wouldn't be that expensive. How does the towel get dirty if they come out of the shower clean? I thought that same thing growing up. I was like, if I'm clean, then why does it get dirty? Evidently, it has something to do with uh, water and mold or something. Yeah, exactly. It's a great video, and that's how I feel about most of the videos I put on the Modern Day Outdoorsman. They don't get a ton of views, which stinks, because they are I think they're decent videos. But it is what it is. I can post a fishing video on BZ Hub and get like 2,000 plus views within a few days. But if I put the same video on the Modern Day Outdoorsman, it gets like 200 views. <laughs> Which stinks, but like, it's a, it's a totally different crowd, you know. The people who come to, um, to the BZ Hub, you know, they want to watch some outdoorsy video game videos. They don't necessarily want to watch Fallout 76 or, you know, maybe they will have an interest in the outdoorsy fishing videos too. So that's a little helpful. Out of 42,000 subscribers, at least 2,000 of them watch a video about fishing. So that's a that's a small percentage. All right, the bite slowed down enough. And let's 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 change things up. But uh, but the people who uh, follow on the Modern Day Outdoorsman, like they're there to watch outdoorsy videos. So I think within with with time, it'll all catch up to each other. We're almost at two. Well, no, we're not. We're almost at 1.1 thousand subscribers on that one. We're, we're getting up there.
was staring at my number keys for far too long. You have a baby snake head? I don't think, um, I don't think snake head are, uh, legal, are, are legal to keep as pets now. Since they became invasive, I, I don't think it's legal to keep them. Maybe it changes based off of what state you're in. Of course, you could not even be in the United States. It could be somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know where you're from. Took care of him. Can you still see through your eyelids? I don't know. That's a good question. We could try and guess some riddles. Not really. Try doing some fishing challenges or something funny. That's my problem. I'm just not a funny person. Darn it all. Why did I throw out all my rods again but not change the time? What are you guys uh, what are you guys even doing with me? Huh? You aren't even helping anymore. want to watch that you should watch the uh, the shark uh, the fighter shark video and then that would be complete Avery you're doing quite well how are you just trying to get to level 75 before I pull my eyes out <laughs> how is Bjorn Bjorn's doing great thanks for asking Rick He's actually doing pretty well because we uh, recently got more joint medication for him. So he's uh, he's he's feeling spry, running around all over the place, acting like himself again. There's always this moment when we're in the backyard and he kind of stares at me, and I'm like, bro, you got the you got the eyes of someone who wants to attack someone right now, and then he kind of like squares off at me. And then he gets lower, <laughs> and, then, and then he just charges at me full speed. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Ah, oh. that's what he used to do all the time when he was when he was younger. And then his as uh, Oslo came in, he kind of started acting old, and he stopped doing that so much. But uh, he's starting to do it more now. It's adorable. Maybe some more Nile Perch now. No, the Nile Perch were taking even longer. We're actually progressing now that we're going back to Tigerfish. We're only able to use uh, two to three rods, but every once in a while we'll get one fish and then the other rod's completely out of whack, so then we're ending up throwing two rods back out there because of one fish. The entire process for Nile Perch is just exhausting. Maybe it'd be better if we were anchored down so that we wouldn't move. I'm not sure. I just don't see how it's just any better than Tiger Fish. If you could just catch unique after unique after unique, I could see it being better. Honestly, you don't even need to catch unique. But we're using 12 aught hooks and like every, every, I don't know, nearly every other fish that we're catching is a young Nile perch. And it's just like, what's the point of even using large hooks? If I'm still catching small fish, I don't I don't get it? I don't get it. <laughs> Good luck in the grind. Thank you, Dragon. It's Malaysia. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh yeah, definitely right. I'm just curious when. Just curious when. I 
I'm, I'm not sure, T-Smart. It could have been CJ donated... CJ, did you donate a bunch of memberships at one point? I can't recall. He could have been then. Someone donated a handful of memberships at one point. How's Prince Oslo? I, he's doing well. Honestly, I, I realize this is fun for all of you, but it's almost 11 o'clock at night and I want to go to bed, so... <laughs> So as much fun as it would be to stop everything I'm doing right now and show the dogs, I, I'll have to stop and wrangle them up and bring them in here, and all I want to do is catch fish, get to level 75, and stop the stream. I'm having fun with all of you. But my mission is clear. <laughs> and, and, and we're not changing our route. Great. Now we've got three rods going off. Get in here. That one's at 140, 130. He's actually coming in pretty quick. That might be a small African. Might have been another one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Who knows? That one seems like a small African as well. This is a Goliath, obviously. Oh my god, are you joking me, dude? Give me a chance! Give me a chance to juggle! I can't even, like, I can't even, man. I have a rod down for 30 seconds and it's gone already. Cool. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool, Cobra. Old African. Yeah, understandable, CJ. No big deal. by George I wish I told you how many um, like what was your most common fish you've caught or something like that that'd be pretty neat no you're not missing out on anything man you're good you have TikTok? I think so. We don't have many videos, but I think we have one. Two full time. I'm a stay at home dad, so that helps. Hey, good deal. Yeah, that would certainly help with that. Good luck with the rest of the grind. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Take care, Cobra. Might be a trophy Goliath. That would be nice. Yeah, for sure. I'm yet to have one take me past 200. They get really close, but then they don't. So. 
Ah, he's like a 50 pounder. 48. Freaking stupid. You can stay up to 3 a.m. in the morning. That's neat. I usually don't want to because I wake up at like 7. So at that point, I'd only get four hours of sleep. Do you think all the wild angler will ever make just make the fishing feel better, or do they think we all want fish species? They'll think we all want fishes. I think that uh, once they put in better movement, um, better fishing action, um, I think honestly, if they just stop trying to be so dang original and just do what other fishing games are doing that people obviously enjoy because they're playing them, then then more people will enjoy how the game works. There's some there's some just quality of life stuff that just seems obvious that the game does not have. And if they put that in the game so that the game is more enjoyable to play, then I feel like more people would play it. And then if they put in a trophy lodge and add in more fish species per map, because I don't even know how many does, uh, does the first location have, 12 or 14 or something like that? Like, that's... How many does Lone Star Lake have? Somewhere around there, too? Like, they, they should have 18 to 20 fish plus per map, I feel. And I, it's probably because they have those fish, like, actually swimming around doing stuff is the reason why they probably don't have them so many species. Because there'd be a lot of different fish just swimming around in the same areas. Probably making the game pretty hard to run. But it, it's... I don't know. Kind of sucks, I guess. <laughs> I would much rather have... Say there was... 20 different fish species out there in a lake. But then, like, a fish shows up up near the top where I can see it and then it like swims down to the bottom and it's still there as part of the population but it's not visible to make the game run slow that way they could have like 20 different fish as a population of fish in a body of water but only 12 of them are visible at a certain amount of time doesn't mean that you can't catch the other eight or whatever I said how many species there were but I don't know they need to come up with a way to have more fish species is what I'm trying to say they need more depth and tackle system too yeah which I find the tackle system annoying as well but it's it's what it, it is what it is we both looking tone says the normal goliaths fight too hard yeah it's hard to uh, it's hard to figure out what's a normal and what's a trophy like they, they all act so similar they all fight very similar all right we're gonna we're gonna go to the other place real quick see if we can catch a few I'm not really sure. Honestly, uh, I'm like... Now that we actually have a game that's an open world fishing game, like... I, I honestly don't think it was one of those things that I needed in my life. I don't think that the fact that it's an open world fishing game really makes it, like, that much better than any other fishing game out there, I guess. I know that they're like, that's that's their thing, that they create like these big open worlds for you to hunt in and fish in and stuff like that. But I didn't need that for a fun fishing game, I guess, right? Like, I think they could, um, they could make a, they could make a map that's half the size. And, um, and I would think it was just as fun. What level do you unlock the, the Congo? I'll give you a guess. <laughs> I 
I'm catching it. Yeah. Well, during the 4th of July, you can catch those, uh, those, like, patriotic or historic fish, I guess. Those wouldn't give you bait coins when you catch them. From England, Big Toe Dan. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Well, to you as well, my friend. Hope you have a good one. Only two weeks away now. Well, a week and a half, right? A week and a half away. Fish on! Fish on! Jeremy Wade. Yeah, I suppose so. Ten days, ten days. At less than two weeks then, eh? Yeah, I, I don't know, T-Smart. We tried figuring it out. I don't know. Someone gifted you a membership if you didn't buy it. At some point, someone did. It could have been um, David Probus. He might have came in one day and bought memberships for some people. If it wasn't CJ. I don't know why I thought it was CJ. I just, for some reason, thought it was. But it could have been David Probus, now that I think about it. There's a little guy. He sure pulled out a lot of line for a little guy. 43 pounds. Don't need any more of those guys, but I feel like that's all we're gonna get. We are inching our way closer and closer. Is that right, Travis? Is this the same rod? We got two fish on the same rod? Can't even remember. Well, then we just pulled that guy in nice and easy. Well, he's bigger than the last one we caught. I just, I just don't know, man. I just don't know anymore. I need to just stop trying to figure things out and just go with the flow, evidently. Didn't they nerf this spot? Freak if I know, man. The last couple days, like, this has been one of the only places I've been able to get unique Goliaths out of. And now, I'm not catching anything at all. So maybe they did in the last couple days. I don't know. Sure seems like it right now because we're not catching anything. Yeah, might have been. 22 inches of snow and counting so far. Wow, goodness gracious. We're about to uh, switch to just fishing at night or something. This is just pitiful. I just don't, I just don't know. Just don't know, everybody. Just painful. Switching to a southern accent. I don't know why. Alright. Skipping the good time, we're just going straight to night time. Spooky jungle. Be better if I wore my glasses. Maybe that's the problem. 
Everyone wants to see an alien Santa. I'll have to look. I'll have to look. I don't even know where my glasses are. Stop the glare. Stop the glare. Oh, you're talking about the glasses in the game? I don't want to wear the glasses in the game. Yeah, another last one this year. Have a fantastic Christmas. Best wishes. Hey, thank you so much, Rick. You as well. Take care, man. Thanks for being here. All you wanted for Christmas was snow. Have you seen the hippos? Yeah, we well, yeah. have. We were actually talking about this the other day. I don't think I've seen the uh, crocodile yet, but I've seen the hippos. When it's sunny. When it's sunny. Our third rod again. How about that? Boy, it's just the rod. Boy, now we've got one on the match rod. Well, we're bringing this one in pretty easily. Oh, now he's putting up a little bit of a fight. Oh, now the drag's just completely gone. Drag's completely gone. I gotta watch these fish, man. It's an African. Put up a little bit of a fight, and the next thing you know, there's no drag whatsoever. Pick up the rod, Hino. No, pick up this rod. Shift one. Shift one. Oh my god. It's just a headache at times. A lion sized yawn? My goodness. My goodness. There's another one coming. Started at 3 a.m. for you, and it's 6 a.m. now. I believe it. Oh, we caught a freaking catfish, dude. The sharp tooth. Freaking stupid. Go away. Go away. If this is another sharp tooth, I'm gonna lose it. I forgot that at nighttime at this area, we catch a lot of catfish on bottom rods. Which do not give good XP. It is another catfish. Ugh. At least it's a, what is it, a combo or, or a voodoo? I think it's a voodoo. You know what's better than Christmas? Beeping. Do you play Hunter Call of the Wild? It was one of the first games we played. Well, it, it was the first game we played on this channel. Yeah. The game just got boring. They, they, they like got all of their eggs. You know how they say like, you know, d don't put all your eggs in one basket. They took all of their eggs and just threw it into a basket called great ones. And they were like, this is what's going to keep people around. Uh, an animal that people only need to sh shoot like 2000 deer to get a great one whitetail to spawn. That's the idea, gentlemen. That's what will get people excited. Okay, well, I'm a content creator. I don't have time to shoot 2,000 whitetail. I'm sorry. I just don't. Um, so I guess everyone who else, who does have time, they just, just take off ahead of me because people want to watch great ones now because that's the new top thing. You know, if you're not getting one, then you're just not good at the game. I, I felt like I was pretty good at the game. I just don't have time to shoot a freaking great one because I don't have time to chase down so many animals. So at that point, the Hunter Call of the Wild just lost it for me. I was just like, okay, if you're gonna require people to spend so many hours in your game to be considered at the top of it, I'm just not even gonna play it. It's just a waste of time at that point. So I just kind of stopped playing Call of the Wild altogether. Yeah. Ridiculous. It wasn't even a hunting game at that point. It was just shooting deer to make one spawn. 
It just, I felt like a robot, a cog in a machine or something like that. Hey, a trophy! Yeah! Woo! Alright, well, my plan of fishing at nighttime was kind of backfired quickly by catching all those catfish. Ragon, smagon, ragon, ragon, dragon. And the problem, the problem is, what did they just announce the other day in Call of the Wild the Angler? Legendary fish! You know, fish that you're gonna have to catch so many different fish for a legendary fish to spawn or something like that. Like, the only thing that could make it a little bit better is that it, it can't be as bad as the great ones in Call of the Wild, uh, the Hunter. Because the maps reset every time you log in to play Call of the Wild, the Angler. So they've got to have a higher rate of showing up. Um, simply because there's no saving of the population. So, I don't know. Yeah. Just woke up, Spinozilla says. You just noticed the Nightbot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Spinozilla, you've just missed, uh, I don't even know how many, two and a half hours? What is it? Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours of fishing. Is that right? Yeah. We're very close to 75, though. Not as close as I'd like to be, but we're, we're pretty close. This is another catfish, it's very true. Probably was. But over here, we don't have to worry about catfish. Oh, 18 access to Emerald. What fish should I target to get my back my money from the trip? <laughs> should probably go after the walleye. Right? It's E-E-S-S. You gotta follow EESS. -E -S. I mean, the Nightbot just talked about it. Not Emerald, Everglades, my bad. Oh, you should go after the peacocks. The peacocks are where it's at. In, in fact, if you're still not, um, if you're filling up your keep net at, at, Ever at uh, Emerald Lake, like you're still like maxing it out every night, then there's no reason to go to Everglades. Um, the only way, the only reason you go to Everglades is when, like, the amount of walleye you catch per day isn't filling up your keep net. And then you can go catch more fish and make more money per day um, fishing at the Everglades. Because you, you can catch more bass at the Everglades than you can walleye and emerald uh, in one day. So that I, I realize now that's like a, it's like fine print on the EESS thing, but going through a second time, like I, I, I really started to notice um, the difference in the money making, basically. And it costs so much to go to the Everglades versus um, Emerald Lake, so you really have to make a make a effort of it. Stay there for a few days. Fifty-four pounder, wow. At least we got another one on. Can't even get our match rod out because we catch a fish every time. No rush going to the Everglades. I made that mistake. Yeah, yeah it's pretty expensive. Ask a quick question. I suppose so. Yeah, just follow along with our beginner series, man. The second one. We go to the uh, we go to the Everglades. You can kind of see what I have and what I did to, uh, to go places. But even then, I got bored of the Everglades just fishing for bass and stuff like that. So we eventually left and went to Emerald a little bit, and then we left Emerald and went to uh, Falcon a little bit. And we were catching good fish at Falcon too. So if you wanna if you wanna mix it up. 
Go to Falcon Lake as well, because the, the trout there are pretty good. The red band trout are really nice. They have a fantastic weight to uh, XP and money ratio, so. 10,000 a day at Emerald. 10,000 a day at Emerald? I, my memory might be bad, but that seems... Seems like a lot. <clears throat> yeah. Did we get the money that we made today, and did we get the money the next day? I'm not able to follow you there, Isa. Isa. Dang it. I swear, every time I put a rod down and I'm getting ready to throw the match rod out, then another one goes. It's not something to be upset about. I'm just flustered that I'm not able to throw that dang match rod out. Honestly, the, the ultimate uh, uh, differentiator between fish species and all that sort of stuff comes down to how many, how much money and XP you can make in actual minutes of playing. So if you really want to compare uh, locations to each other, spend, uh, spend 15 minutes fishing at one place, or an hour even. Spend an hour fishing at one place, and go to another place and fish an hour there and and compare the money and then compare the travel and license cost and that that's really the ultimate way of playing because what 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 time constraint do we have as players you know not in-game days but the actual like time that we can play the game physically um oh wow that's a freaking voodoo that's my first catfish from this spot this one's a tiger fish, so I saw its fin come out of the water. The money that we made yesterday, can we collect it tomorrow? What is today, but yesterday's tomorrow? Um, you will not collect the money for today unless, until you go to the next day and then you collect all the money you don't have to leave the lake or your fishing area I'll check the Everglades video bye good luck fishing thank you so much take care man putting up a little bit of a tussle, man. Hopefully he's a trophy or something. For this amount of pain he's dealing out to me right now. Get in here, fish. You think this one's a trophy? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, man. You've never seen me live. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm uh, I'm uh I'm not as fun. Uh, yeah, it is trophy. Good deal. Oh my god, that helps so much. <laughs> that was almost like four fish, five, four or five fish XP. Oh, fantastic. We're we're much closer now. 
I'm not as much fun to watch live late at night. I get I get cranky due to lack of sleep. On the home stretch, I know. But uh, I try to stay uh, generally, um, you know, decent enough to talk to. <laughs> I, you just have to, just have to go with the flow. <laughs> Stream should have ended two hours ago. Yeah, pretty much. It's the final count. Copyrighted. Just got copyrighted. Just like that. Oh, it's just a baby. Look at him. He's like the same size as the minnow he just bit on. I just, I still think that the weight of those fish is ridiculous. There's no way that tiny little fish is 28 pounds. There's no way. I've seen bass bigger than that thing. I swear Fishing Planet was just like, well, we can't have it be light, then it will be too easy for people to catch. And so they made it heavier. Otherwise, I just don't understand, like, what they were thinking. What is- someone look it up for me right now. What- what is the world record, uh, African tiger fish? Make sure it's not a goliath tiger fish, just a regular African tiger fish. What's the world record? I'm curious. I know they get rather chunky at a certain size, but... Like, the average African tiger fish we catch here is about 28 pounds. 26, 26, 28 pounds. God, they're both just, like, going straight flat. Another 26 pounder. There's no way that the world record for a regular African tiger fish is 154 pounds. What's the longest stream I remember doing? God, I don't even know. Six to eight hours or something like that. It was during the 4th of July event. We were really in a time crunch to get something done before the end of the event. So we like stayed up all night trying to complete it. Till like two in the morning or something like that. That's ridiculous. I can't even see it. So you're telling me that Fishing Planet has a unique African tiger fish at 54 pounds, but the world record's 154 pounds. That doesn't even make that doesn't even that doesn't even make sense. Well, there's 9,000. That's nice. Thirty-five pounds. See, that's what I think. There's, there's just no way I could picture an African tiger fish at 154 pounds. All right, we're changing the time. I don't want to fish during these days. No! Creep those days in a row, come on. Oh my god, four days in a row. There we go. Did you see the picture though? Give me a moment, I'll check too, but I can't I keep catching fish.
and pretty easy to tell which one you're looking at. One's got stripes and one doesn't. <laughs> just, just look at the picture. Seven pounder, yeah. Guys, I think we have a bite. You guys, you guys, I think we have a bite. Have a great and nice talking for a few minutes. Absolutely, dead, yeah. Well. Take care. I wish I could be going to bed as well. But a promise is a promise. And the only thing that could get me away from this computer right now is an angry wife. And so far, she's just relaxing and, and looking at her phone. So she's not... She hasn't said anything to me. I told her to text me if she got bored. She hasn't texted me. So... Usually around, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, she'll be like... Are you gonna come to bed? I'll be like, ah, sure. Usually I'm not up this late during the weekdays. Are you joking me? You've got to be joking me. You're a freaking comedian, Fishing Planet. A good tiger fish, you think so? Probably enjoying it. Maybe, I don't know. I think this is an African man. It's not very long. No, it's a freaking Goliath. Ah, oh, that's stupid. It doesn't look very long. The distance between its uh, dorsal and its tail is just like a little bit. But it has no stripes. Classic. Classic. How much do we want to guess how much this thing is? I'm going to go with uh, 54 pounds. Oh, so close. 53.705. We were close. How's the volcano? What are you talking about? One more. One more. How long does it take in real life for unique fish to spawn? Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, it, it, the game really didn't work like that, really. Like, you could catch unique fish after unique fish after unique fish in a row if you just switch to this to the right time to catch them, basically. Yeah, it says that the largest African tiger fish ever caught was 35 pounds, 8 ounces. So. So, for the average tiger fish you catch being 26 pounds, I mean, that's like every single African we catch is like a trophy fish. <laughs> any, any, any person in their right mind would be pretty stoked about a 26 pound tiger fish. You're on Maui. Ah, oh, you gotta be joking me. I literally just touched the rod. Is 
They both seem like pretty weak fish. I'm calling you out. This is a tiger. An African. Nearly there. I know, right? Grab the rod, he know. Grab the rod, he know. Grab the rod, he know. Aw, oh, well, right on, Muhammad. Your first Nile perch was an uni? Very nice. I don't remember what mine was. It was a while ago. Almost there. Almost there. Guy's putting up a little bit of a fight, isn't he? I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm honestly kind of surprised that my eyes haven't dried out yet. <sighs> Do we get blizzards in Kansas? I It depends on what the definition of a blizzard is. If you just mean like a storm of snow, yes, we get blizzards. Does it only snow like six inches? Maybe. <laughs> I feel like the most snow I've ever seen in my life in Kansas was like, uh, I don't even know, foot and a half. You know, where it would drift up on something, maybe it'd get like four or five feet, but like, we don't get a ton of snow. There's just not enough precipitation in the air. You get a lot of wind, might get some snow and it it might create quite a big storm but no and so close we literally just need like one or two fish for so long my memory is like gone we're so close so close you can't see 10 feet in front of you yeah no I don't think it ever gets that bad maybe it does I just can't remember it three-day snow event in Arizona my goodness gracious your birthday was yesterday well happy late birthday forty five mile per hour gust out that's a pretty good gust man what do you even get at level 75 the Congo you get unlimited access to the Congo at 75. Chance of no school in Minnesota tomorrow? Yeah, the game's like literally not going to give us one more fish. Just because it wants to screw with us. All we need is one fish, but it's not going to give it to us. No, no, sir. No, sir. We're going to have to get in the boat, change the time, and then do it. Master of the Mix is still gone. You know it. You know it. All right. One fish, let's go. Maybe two, depending on what we catch. Represent, represent.
Boy, we have more people watching at 11.30 at night than we did when it was freaking 7.30. You guys are crazy. Where are you guys jo joining in from right now? Is it late at night for all of you too? Or can you just not go to sleep so you're just... You're nocturnal. It's night there? Yeah, it's freaking 11.30 at night. Why do you think I keep saying I want to go to bed? <laughs> Grant says 12.30, yeah. Southeast North Carolina. Dudes from the land down under. Well, yeah, I know we got a few from around there. CJ, too. Malaysian people. I know CJ's been here the whole time. <laughs> He's dedicated. My god, are we not going to catch one fish? We even changed the time. Gotta be joking me, dude. Game just does not want us to catch one more fish. Game says, I don't care how many times you switch the time. You're not going to catch one more fish here. Bye, George. Bye, George. You can try all you want, but I ain't giving you nothing. Go catch 50 elephant fish. Gonna take another hour? Golly, I sure really hope not. I'm gonna go into the room and I'm gonna be like, my wife's either gonna be asleep or I'm gonna be like, hey, we finally did it. And she's gonna be like, you've been playing a fishing game this entire time? And I'll be like, yeah. She was like, oh my god. And I'll be like, what did you do? You just sat here on your phone the whole time. What's the difference? Oh god, and we got all three of them go. We waited there for how long? We didn't get a single fish. Now all three rods are going at the same time. This is a 50 pounder. It's gonna make us work for it. Just get in here, man. That guy's being a freaking pain. Well, that guy's being a pain, too. Oh, no, they're giving out sandwiches again. Between the sandwiches and chalky milk. You used to have a guy always talking about giving away chalky milk. Chalky milk, all the time. Come on. Technology is amazing. Oh, we have 93 people now. Where the heck did you all come from? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> I'm joshing you. It's probably daytime for a lot of you. I'm surprised we haven't had anyone from uh, like the UK show up and be like, hey, good morning. What's up with that? They're always showing up for stuff like that. Get in here. Did we get it? We freaking got it. You can just suck it. I don't even care about you anymore. Let's go. 75. We got them. $1,500, one bait coin. Yes, that's what I did all this for, one bait coin. We got some new gear, some rigs, some baits, some lures, and we did it. All right, everybody, that's it. <laughs> I'm glad you could all be part of this historic event here. It's fantastic. It's fantastic, everybody. Oh, God, what's this about?
All right, all right. That's all I got. That's all I got. Anywho, glad you all could be here. This was fun. Really enjoyed it. Um, definitely gonna be able to uh, go back to my other series now that I don't have to worry about coming back to the Congo. <laughs> oh, now I can go back to the free to play series and do that stuff, and and I can do the rest of the River Monsters stuff too. Ah, oh, that feels good. Anywho, hopefully you all enjoyed this. My God, yeah, we're at 94 people now. Goodness gracious, everybody. <sighs> all right, well, take care, everyone. Do we get anything special if we stay here so many days? We're literally one day away from 20 right now, so I'm kind of curious. Nothing for 20. Do we get 20? Anything at like 24 or anything like that? Let's find out. Nothing. Okay. It's a lure at 30? Well, let's keep going. You gotta see this thing at 30. It's not lure you crazies, it's freaking mono. What am I gonna do with that? You guys are crazy. Yay, we got some mono. I feel like some dude just chucked a spool of line at me. Oh wow, you've been here for 30 days. Congrats. Well, got this spool of line, I guess. You want it? All right, here you go. That's what just happened. Anywho, take care everyone, this was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't hit the like button, consider doing so now. If you're watching in the future, I don't know how you sat through freaking four hours of video, um, but you did, so congrats to you. CJ's been here the whole time too. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, thanks for everyone for being here. It was a real treat uh, to see so many people watching all this time, that was great. But, until the next video, everyone, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye, Zs. One family. Oh, yeah, C-North was here the whole, pretty much the whole time, too, so right on, man.